myself up here. Yo, so yeah, I I was about to leave and all that, and then the big homie a debt pulled up. I'm like, yo, that was ill. I was and I was right about to have a whole conversation with him, but I'm like, nah, I gotta go live with this. Like this for the people right here. Like that's somebody who I think is a pillar in battle rap right now. So we waiting for a to pull up. But yo, shout out to all the people, like I said, for um looking out on order. Let me make a few changes to the um thing. I think I got my Malcolm X stuff on it. I got a um, I think I just heard him pull up or something like that. Oh yeah, that's the big homie of death. Shout out again. Salute, salute. Like, you you I don't even know. So like yeah, from the beginning, were you able to see the whole card? Um, I started watching well, for uh, Chef Tres versus Show Off. So any battles before that, I missed that. So All I right, saw yeah. Chef Tres and Show Off. I saw uh, Remedy Loco and Swave. I saw, you know, Charlie Clips and Rosenberg, Ill Will and King Lowe's, and obviously Murder Mook and Big K. So I saw those battles. Yo, how you, yeah, so wait, first of all, how you feel about it overall? So how you feel about those battles? The battles that I saw, I thought it was a cool event. I thought it was a real cool event. Right. Not I for did. nothing. The wackest battle on the card was probably Swave and Remedy Loco. But even then, I was like, I, I still had some entertainment from it. So it is what it is. You, so wait, I, and that, I, I ain't going to lie. I thought that was one of my, I thought that was, see, now this is where I, and I, that's where to me I was thinking about you with this. It's like, I'm going to keep it a buck too. I honestly wasn't even going to mess with the card. I'm going to just be honest. I wasn't, you one of the reasons why, um, like I, I was, I was, I, you know, I knew a lot, a couple things about battle rap, the weirdness and, and all that. Yeah. I, about hip hop in general, I mean, but I ain't really get and understand about like think different things in battle rap. But like, not like long story short, like I wasn't gonna get it just because of that whole Hegelian dialectic thing and the concept. Yeah, like that crazy. I watched the bootleg. I mean, I, I keep it real. I didn't spend any money to. <laughs> to I yo, bro, I respect it. I can't listen. I think I personally preach like, yo. On some when it when you when it's something of love and it's, it's equal energy and all that you gotta support that support definitely the right definitely I'm with you on that to say it's, it's like I'm I, I'm gonna keep it a buck for me I felt like I did so much stuff I grew up in the underworld doing a lot of I just said so much I, I was around criminals so yeah me too my whole so that's like that my whole thing is I I want to try to do everything and then with my kids and all that but it's like I I respect the game and I ain't gonna act like if I if somebody pull up to me and say, yo, I got the leg, I was definitely watching it. I would be for it. Right. I mean, like, because, like, I, I think I was going to end up probably succumbing to buy it just so I could watch the Big K and Murder Mook battle. Facts. But, you know, somebody threw the link at me. I'm like, all right, like, listen. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You see, that's what I'm saying. It's like the energy. Like, once it's right, like, I'm not just going to be like, I got to support all these cars. Y'all got to show me something that's going to be good energy to, to that's worth it. Exactly, and when you're doing the promo card like that, that's that's not really inviting me to spend my hard-earned money on that shit. I feel you, bro. I feel you not. And and now, like I said, the recap of all the, and the ones that you didn't see, like they were, there was definitely some good ones there. But you saw definitely the heavy hit. I think these was heavy hitters. Like yeah. So wait, so the first one you saw was the um the Chef Trez you said right? Chef Trez and um and Show Off, yeah, and Chef Trez, yeah, he caught a body. <laughs> he oh. caught a body to me. Is he officially the rebuttal king? Yeah, he has to be, man. He has to be. I thought that, like, from the and, and I'm gonna be honest, I I was one of those people who thought Show Off was gonna win this clear clearly. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I like Chef. Trey. Really? I thought it was gonna. I think, yo, I think Show Off. I don't know. It might be. A, I'm a little. I'm a, I'm I'm a little biased with Brooklyn energy, but people from okay. Brooklyn, especially if you from Bushwick, um, East New York, or from Brownsville, or Best Style, like that. That's kind of like my stomping ground. So. I look up to be just like that, but it's like at the same time, like whatever, like math hop or certain people. I like I, I when when all the stuff come, I was like I gotta I don't just completely I, so I, I do it out there like you know I know I'm not somebody who completely just biased towards Brooklyn, but I rock with Show Off because I feel like he carries a righteous energy. Like when I seen that whole fight your demons, that's what I thought he was about. But now even when we from the discussions and everything, I'm like, hey, that probably got a different meaning. It but could, I mean, yeah. It's, it's, even from the angle of it and all that, and we talk about the symbolisms and sigils and all that. So it's like I was like, damn, I, that went right over my head because I didn't think it was in battle rap like that. Nah, it's it's definitely here. Is that it, it's open too? I mean, you heard Murder Mook talk about it, all that. Like yeah. it's just it's definitely here. So nah. Smack is a follower, of some dude named Bobby Hemmett, who's like an occultist who gets all of his teachings from Aleister Crowley. 
H Helena Blavatsky, all those people, man. It's, it's these people are different, but that, that's the entertainment industry in general. That was fire though, because nah, you just let me tell you something. That was deep. Like Bobby Hemmett was a big part of my conversation. Somebody came up to me. This is what I'm talking about. I, I think these conversations big. Mm -hmm. Um, somebody asking me about like who to rock with, like who they who the different people, and I'm like, yo, this is who charlatans. They clearly. They were clearly working for these people. They clearly boule this, and I'm and right. he said Bobby Hammond, and I'm like, I he Bobby Hammond, somebody for years. I've never honest. I know he talked about a lot of that deep stuff about that Masonic stuff and all that. But in my that's mind, what they do. They they mix it in. They they'll give you some real knowledge in order to have you follow them, but then they turn they take you somewhere else. Yo, I, I can't lie to you. I, I bet that's like a hundred percent of like when you start really getting a deep to. That's why I think it's important to talk about it. It's like they they don't even really hide it. But I didn't the know thing with Bobby Hammond is he used to work with the brother Stephen Coakley. Have you heard of uh, Stephen Coakley? Yeah, see, that's why I, Steve, I thought. Now, please, if Steve Coakley, I thought is the goat. No, Steve Coakley's the goat. Oh, he yeah, that's, so yeah, he's the goat. He's the goat. Like, like he he started and closing the Boule societies with uh, yeah. with Bobby Hammond, but they they branched away from each other later on because you know Bobby Hammond he he had the idea of oh no we should yeah we're exposing these people for doing this magic. And, but no, we should do the magic ourselves. No, that's not what it is. You know the magic is dark. You know it's evil. But now you're saying that we should do it ourselves. And no. now we're thinking about it. That's when a lot of his lectures, I never, I honestly never even seen them together. So that was deep that you said that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. You can look into it. They worked together in the 90s. And that's why a lot of his, and now that you get with the Hegelian dialectic, and, and when I got introduced to Dr. T, here's my truth, from Bushwick, Dr. York was big. That now we yeah. So I grew up seeing like I thought they were ill. I loved the whole pyramid stuff and the whole um they had black Jesus and all that stuff. So I was into that and looking at Fact. that. And they got into some wild, wild allegations. A lot of stuff came out. And Bobby Hemmett, I had got introduced to him because he was banging on the Nawobians. And I was like, oh yeah, you're right. They 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 are doing this and that. So I thought they created this little war and they on it's the same thing, because Dr. York, another one, dropped mad information. I thought he was the GOAT. And Fact. yo, so you drop, you just, I appreciate that. I say that to say, like, when I get something, you gave me something. Cause I don't, that's my thing. Like, let people to, to, to each his own. Like, but if you somebody who is charlatan and you like playing around with this stuff and you misleading the people, immediately. You gotta get called out immediately. You, know, you waste a lot of people's time. I'm somebody who actually read the books. So it's yep. like, you tell me, you know how much, y'all just was telling somebody that I got mad Dr. York books. And it's like, I can't do nothing with, I mean, it's, not, it's some information there, but it's like, it's it's like, and he- There's of, always going to be information in there, of course, but you just got to be careful with the way that certain people frame it. Absolutely. Now, I, I, I look, I use it for like, like one of the ones, I, I, I threw some of them away, because a lot of them are just a lot of mumbo jumbo, and they say, mm -hmm. they say he was plagiarizing. I don't know if you're Yeah, right. it was a lot of plagiarism, a lot, a lot of shit exactly. with these guys. And I think that's what you're getting into with the whole Bobby Hammond thing, because like, they get into a lot of energy. But yo, you see, that's, that's what I love about this, and that's how I like how your blogs and your energy be with. It gets into like battle rap, and you get into a whole deep conversation. Right. That's fire. That's what you right. need, bro. That's what the culture need, man, for real. And then the whole investment thing. I just, I'm just giving you your props, your flowers, and all that. But like, I used to do the investment a lot more, but then they started creating fake narratives about me that I was stealing money from people, even though you can't find one person I ever asked for money. I all I did was tell people, "Yo, this is popping right now. Go do this. <laughs> Go do that." And I, I basically did. I was, I did whatever type of research because, like, I was like before I got it, I started deep diving. Like right before you got into the easy to block captain interview. I'm going to ask you some questions about that too in a minute, but... Yeah, yeah talk I, to me. I started deep diving and like, all right, I, I've been hearing, I've been watching your stuff. I just haven't been doing it for my channel here. I got another channel I've been watching your, your stuff for, but like, you haven't been, like, I think um you never said nothing that stood out like that was anything wrong, so I never, I just always used to hear rumors about you. That's, honestly, I clicked your channel when Restore, that whole Restore Order drama was coming out, and I'm like, yeah. like you got the. I'm like, if if how can y'all? How everybody's ignoring you? So that's what made me even pay attention to you. And then, so I thought you was all about just like you, just some genius who you was able to like do some business work and get their thing. I didn't really know how deep. You, so I thought all your hate was about that. I did my little background, like yo, every claim about you. There's no, I don't see nothing, anything that somebody think they're saying about you bad. It's just making them look crazy. Like you're not. Yeah. I'm not saying, and everybody got whatever, like, but from what I'm saying, like, as far as any type of major thing or whatever, it's like, 
nah, all that stuff was nonsense. And I see why though, because you gotta your power and your voice is serious, and you you, you spreading some real knowledge. So once again, salute to that, man. Nah, I appreciate you, bro. Real talk, real talk. But now, nah, listen, a lot of people, I know they're going to want to definitely hear some more battle rap because I'm pretty sure this is definitely not going to be our first conversation. But like, nah, man, we go back and forth. That, that's how you do it. We, we switch back and forth from the battle rap to the real talk. Uh, nah, I like that. I like They I love like, that. I like your understanding. Now, nah, that's real talk right there. Well, I'm going to say this then because I, I want to get into something with it. Like, it's on my mind heavy. Wh why do you think, how how is it possible that that easy to block cap the interview as deep as that was is something that I didn't hear a lot of bloggers talking about it. I actually stopped. Like I'm, I paused. I got some more stuff. I got. I got a whole lot of stuff about it actually. But I stopped. And I'm like, I want to hear what the culture saying about this. Is nobody's? It's like it just kind of went. You. That was the first time I seen easy to block cap the loser lose a battle. Facts. Straight up, dead serious. Like from his whole run. But it's like. Do you like? Is that you think that there's like a like? With, as, have you seen? Well, let me. That's my first question. H have you seen any blogs or anybody talking about it? No, only uh, only you, DME Detroit, and Battle Truth. Exactly. Oh yeah, shout out to DME Detroit. Oh man, Battle Truth. Shout big Battle shout out to DME Detroit. Yeah, that's my homie. I rock. Yo, I especially on a late night when I, I you y'all going back and forth with the late. I, that'd be perfect because I I work kind of late like that. So I'm like, that's crazy. I'd be laughing in the background. But yeah, like that's, I think I just always, that's why I'm about to get back on it. When he said that you're going to be doing this for like two weeks, I was like, oh, he has no he idea. He has no idea. <laughs> I'm going to be doing it for like two months at least. <laughs> Facts. Facts. You think two weeks, that's all you're going to get? Okay. You must not have seen Bill Collector. You must not have seen a lot of shit. <laughs> Yo. And I'm gonna tell you, this is how that's a hundred percent. You're right about yo, the, you, and that's another thing. You kind of like right when I feel like I'm starting to really like yo, I rock with this battle rapper. You perfectly expose it at the right time because I'm gonna tell you some straight up stuff. I wasted money. I'm I like the support and like when I'm up and my things is running right. I thought I mean I thought like I like like the like, homeless all that. Like I'm into all that charity and actually stuff like that. So when it comes to support and entrepreneurs and people doing business and stuff like that. I oh, yeah. I, I'm going to tell you straight up right here because I was looking at the screenshot too. Rebecca Williams, dollar sign, energy gal. I think it's due. I think it was due. I'm, I'm saying this out for the first time. I not only told my personal people about this. I had a problem with Easy to Black. This is kind of why I supported him from the beginning because when he started doing, it was right after the... um. I think not. It wasn't you. I think Goods is the one. Goods was laughing about his cologne, the blue cologne. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> so who killed him? Who killed him? <laughs> <laughs> no. He said, "Is this Windex? No, like, why is it blue?" <laughs> yo, he sprayed it, and it was L Yo, it was legit blue. <laughs> that was one of the funniest vlogs in the history of that time, bro. Fact. And the way DNA 2 remixed it, it was perfect. It was perfect. DNA 2 was a, yo, the 2 is, yo, the 2 Yeah, 2 is the GOAT, man. 2 is the GOAT. Bro, I had, I don't know, I, that's one of the, I be crying from his, I literally be in tears sometimes from that five minute clips he be dropping. Like, right. great tears. But nah, let me get back to it, because this is very important. I said that name for a reason. Um. Um, I went to support. I was like, it was funny, and I felt like, nah, I'm gonna go support him. I'm not gonna get the cologne. Let me get one of the gutter sweaty sweater sweaters and all that. So, I I went before I did that. I went to hit him up because I was gonna make sure I posted and um like try to you know send a link up. So yep. I went to the Instagram. Long story short, I'm on the Twitter. I find him on Twitter, and I use the same nag name that he got on Instagram. It was like easy to block Captain One. This is a fake account, and I clearly didn't know it. So I'm like, yo, bro, blah, blah, blah. And this person, and let me tell you why I think it's due. I'm, I'm not trying to just throw, throw at me accusations out there, but I'm somebody who does double research, especially if I get scammed or something like this. This yeah. happened, this happened, like, whenever that happened, like, that was, like, five, six months ago. First time I'm talking about it now because I feel like it is what it is. I'm done with it. Like, I like I was like, yo, I'm about to get close to easy because I'm. it was only, I spent $200 worth on sweaters and shirts and stuff like that. Yep. I sent them two two hundred dollar things, but after when I sent the first one, I'm like, "Yo, the whole time I was talking to you, you didn't say nothing about having no female." But I'm like, "Oh, this must be do." And then I looked at Dude's channel, and I'm like, "She got a whole bunch of things like energy and all that type of stuff they get into, like the you talk yep. about that voodoo stuff." Oh, well, not voodoo. Um, 
the black magic and the witchcraft. Yeah, that sorcery shit, the, the manifestation stuff, yeah, all that. Satanic behavior. Yeah. behavior. The, the low topic. level Luciferianism. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Long story short, so I'm like, all right, maybe that's that what it was, and I just took it as it was due. And find out, bro, that thing, it, I got, it was a scam. And I ain't saying that. I just, I blocked the person. And I was like, yo, I'm going to campaign. I'm either going to get my money back or I can't, I'm not, I'm like, it's only $200. But I don't, I, bro, if somebody take 10 cents from me, if you, if it's on some unrighteous energy, that's a problem. Right. I'd rather give yeah, a but This is what I don't respect because they have the, that, that quote unquote fake easy to block captain account. They also have the fake Charlie Clips account, right? Ooh. On Twitter, that that's like stealing from fans. Fans think it's a real account, whatever. Charlie Clips and Easy could easily take those uh, Twitter pages down. Very easily. All they have to do is uh, go to Twitter, report it, and say that they're impersonating me. That's it. Once you're impersonating somebody and you don't label the account as like a parody account or something, it gets taken down. So clearly, they to me, to me, I think they're getting a the cut. I say the same. That's why I immediately... Yo, you a bro. I love that's what I'm saying. You play chess? Yeah, I do. My my, my brother's way better though. He he's way into the chess shit more than me. But I, I do definitely play chess. I love I'm a I'm a like one of my first books, I want like my last book is like my best one of my best ones. It's called Metaphysical Checkmate. But it's like people who think fast like that. We're gonna get right back to, to Chef Trez. It's why I like Chef Trez. People who Facts. you know, like put them links together, you gotta honor and respect those minds. It's great. Definitely. Mind. Yeah, but that That's why I got so much respect for Chef Trez, man. This the fact that he could follow up with the three of them things. Every battle. He never goes a battle without doing it. And that, that's spectacular to me. The dude is talented. And it's all fire. It's no dry. It's not like bad. Like he's, yo, he talented is the perfect word. I, like I said, he got to get. I think I thought A Ward was a rebuttal king for a while. To be honest, like just watching the last couple of like last year or two of him, he was doing it in between rounds and stuff like that, which I thought was extra impressive. Besides, how oh, definitely, was, definitely. When you do it in between rounds, that's different. Crazy. Yeah, but it's like the way, especially with this battle, the way that Chef Trez was doing them th those those rebuttals was it was it was like Show Off was even giving him the props for it. Yeah, bro, but the rebuttals was. Better crafted than show offs rounds. That's the truth. I, that's what I was gonna get to as well. How hot was it? Hey, I, I want to ask you about this one specific because this one on my mind real quick. Show off is like, yo, you can't re you rebuttal words, but you can't rebuttal actions. He did that security thing, which was like, I, right, I laughed. It was like, yeah, that was funny. It was exactly. It was like right, that was cute. It wasn't nothing like crazy. That to rebuttal that was. That was like it was simple, but I'm like, yo, you he you say he can't rebuttal action, and he did it. Like that's how nice Jeff Trez is. He's all angles and all ways. Like that energy was fire. Like what you so yeah, like what do you who's who's your top three rebuttal? Who you think the top three rebuttalers are? <clears throat> number one would be Chef Trez. Uh, at this point for sure. Uh number two, this one might 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 surprise you. Danny Myers. Oh, you I'm definitely putting Danny Myers there. The thing with Danny, though, is that he rebuttals so often, sometimes he, they don't be landed. That's the thing that be hurting Danny. Sometimes they don't be landed, but when they do, they and the fact that he's always attempting them, you got to respect that, too. That was good. I was thinking that. you. That, I forgot about Danny. You 100% right. And he's very, because he don't say three of them things or whatever, because sometimes he giving you more. Sometimes yeah. he'll just give you one big banger. Or just one big banger and go straight into the round or whatever. Like, whatever it has to do to win. He definitely rebuttals, though. I think he's going to say QP. Like, quantum physics, like, yeah, I think... QP, yeah, man, listen. QP, yeah, 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 yeah. Facts. Wise, I know. As far as everything else, like, whatever. I don't, I the, thing, the, the thing with QP, when he just talks, he be rapping. That's why, the, yeah, I mean, that, that's dangerous. That's that, that's a, that's a, one of the minds. It's a quick mind, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's very, very uh, quick with it. Right. I'm not going to front. I do, I do respect QP. And, and to me, I respect QP because at least he was honest about the stuff that he did, you know? I was about to say the same thing, but that's like a pimp energy. Like, when you really think about it, like, it's a, <laughs> you, gotta, you kind of got to be quick with it, with it to, to do what you do. But, yeah, you're right. It's a respect thing. It's, that's all. And that's what I say, honest discussions, like, if you got it, if you, whatever you're doing, stand on that business, like, like, stand on it. It, that's, that's it. it. Is that that was my issue with Easy, because, like, fam, we all know about the story of what happened at the Woman of the Year panel, bro. Like, I've spoken to Caps extensively since this, and he's like, 
Yeah, bro. Like, like the, when he said it, he heard it from people that were there. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, every so like Easy could have used that opportunity to be like, "Listen, yeah, I did make that mistake. I would never do that again." I, I, uh, uh, a lot of brothers I know fall into that trap, but you know, at the end of the day, as we grow as men, we know we're not supposed to do that. Period. It is not. It's that simple. It was, and nobody would have thought about it again. Nobody would have ever thought about it again, yo. Adept, think about this too. You just made me realize some. I didn't. Even, I didn't think about this since y'all interview. Remember the right? Because he just killed Hitman Holler, and he had a crazy energy with the blogs. He was. He started doing a lot of different blogs with everybody. He had this beautiful energy. All he had to do was just be humble for that one moment, and just that's all he had to do. Yeah, you got a balanced life. Like you want to just that, but that's that whole like it's that Luciferian energy of thinking right. you want to be manipulative and controlling everything at all times, always in power nonsense. The also thing were easy is he had a lot of people in his ear too. If you noticed in the interview, a lot of people were calling him the whole time. Max. Kept on calling him. The whole time, right? And what he told Bill Collector, "Don't worry, I got him." Yo, that was the biggest. Yo, that was so crazy how that got flipped on him. I never, I can't think of some another situation like that. He swore, yeah, all right, all right, all right I got something for you, and you're like, no, 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 that, yeah, yeah, we, I was, oh, yeah, it was that. It wasn't a. Well, he said it wasn't a. It wasn't like I was sleeping on his couch, but it's like I just had like the toothpaste. I forgot it was just. Something. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no. He said he said exactly what I said, but he said because I said a blow up mattress or something, and he said it wasn't a blow up mattress; it was a couch. Okay, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yo, I had to run. I had to rewind it. I couldn't when I first heard. I'm like, there's no way he just said that, and then <laughs> you, you realize though what Bill Collector said though, right? He was like, yo, um. I think, I think he said a little bit after, like, I'm on, no, he said, yeah, I'm on a live right now, too. So he probably, if he was on a live, I don't even know if you, because it's like, you either, you don't, it, it was, I, he had to have known, or they had to have discussed something. Let me, let me say this before I get into that. I thought when I seen him um, doing an interview, because y'all had it posted up that it was coming up, I'm like, yo, this is great because he left URL and now he's feeling comfortable to whatever, just, he, he don't got to like do no speak freely. Exactly. Exactly. Just speak freely or at least acknowledge what you've been saying. That's all I'm saying. Like, you broke away from that. If you don't acknowledge that, see, the thing is, bro, Adept, they don't realize, they. you can see how a lot of them complain, like, who the last, the worst one was your honor. And it's like, if, if y'all don't, if y'all don't say something, you're going to make more young battle rappers get into this and they, you're going to make these people keep thinking this is okay to do. So yeah. you're just hurting, it, you're hurting people by not talking about it. That that's my biggest thing. Exactly. Like like just talk about it. Like what's really what what's constricting y'all from talking about this? Like 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 honestly. Actually, I respected Your Honor because Your Honor was the first person that really came out and confirmed the five year contract. Exactly. No, that's exactly. But what happens is that how long has that been going on though? This is what A I'm long time. Say. Exactly. Like you, if, if somebody would have said something before that, your honor, because he basically stepped in shit that he couldn't get out of. And it, and it realized how bad he, it was. he admitted, he said, listen, the contract is beneficial to the URL only. But it, in another interview, he goes on to say, listen, man, yeah, I signed that. And because it was always his dream to be on URL that he cried after he signed the contract. So he had no knowledge of this. Like it was his dream because he's looking at these other rappers and they, he's thinking their business is good, that the URL is taking care of them. But then we hear about K. Sean's unhappy. We Rock wanted to leave the URL multiple times because they were violating him. Uh, it's all these dudes, man. But they don't come out and, and be honest about these contracts. So then these young brothers go on, they sign that same contract, they get into the same issues. This is my whole thing, bro. You are 100% right. And I'm an actual, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, this is my 15th um, actual year teaching of certified New York City Department of Education teaching all that. I mean, right now, since COVID, now I teach, I do, um, I do Zoom and all that. I, don't, I, I, I like, I teach internationally, but the point is, no, God bless. yeah, much respect, pure certified. I'm like working on, especially with the news that happened this week, I'm trying to kick back on my lawsuit. Like they owe me, like I went four, I went 12 straight years teaching there, self-certified teacher, master's degree, top of the line, all of my observations were excellent observations as a teacher. They have not one thing that wasn't, not even good. It was all excellent. And then because of this whole shot thing, I lose everything. You got, y'all got, y'all got to pay me something for that. 
Oh, and you gonna pay all of my student old loans, all that stuff. So like that's what I'm I'm putting out there right now. That's that's one of the things I'm banging on. I was waiting. Facts. No, 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 don't let that shit go either. If you have a case that you can fight, go for it. Keep going yeah. for that shit. Absolutely. Yeah, they 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 I got because the lawsuits that I'm telling you. Uh, in the next few years, you're going to start hearing more of these lawsuits right. getting finalized, people getting pumped money, people getting paid. Yeah, and I got, I, I, I'll tell you, I mean, whatever, you already know, but it's like when you, I'm, I, I'm a legal mind, like one of my books is Know Thy Law. Like, I think it's very important to know the laws, and they made a huge, like, they're going to have to settle with me once they see the evidence I have regardless. So it's either going to be something quick. Or y'all gonna have to y'all gonna Once just the New York City Supreme Court said that uh the the, the mandates were unconstitutional, right. it opens the gates to all these lawsuits. Absolutely. And you heard how the fire department a few months, like yeah, a few months ago, a fire the fire department in New York City, they they didn't basically they got their jobs back and they got like a twenty five thousand dollars like pay off. Yep. yep. They have to pay. They have to pay them all the back pay. Fire. Exactly. Yep. The only thing for me is, like I said, I didn't, what I learned from my lawyer, my legal consultations on that, I didn't know that. I mean, it's simple now I'm saying it, but it's like, as an employee, no matter what type of union or whatever you have, they literally can fire you at any time. Fact. That was a heavy, when I really thought about that, I'm like, yo, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a veteran Marine. I did all this time there. I went to all these years in high school and in college and all this stuff, got these old degrees, all this stuff. And y'all just defy me because I don't want to succumb to your nonsense. Exactly. Yo, I, so I can't, I'm like, I don't want to go back. So they offered, I mean, my legal consultation asked me like if I should go But check this out though. The fact that, yes, they can fire you when you sign as an at-will employee, they can fire you at any time, but it, they could, there's still laws that, that stop them from firing you for certain types of reasons. Like they can't fire you because you're black. They can't fire you because, um, uh, 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 medical reasons. They can't. And then that vaccine mandate, that's a medical, that's medical personal information. That was you don't, they, they don't have the right to the, demand that information from you at all. That goes against, um, what exactly? Uh, uh, uh is it Hippocratic? Exactly. That's your 100% right. Our Hippocratic you, rights. Yeah, man. You can't ask me that. You can't even be, you 100% right. That's like if they like, yo, you got AIDS? <laughs> like, 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 you know what I mean? Like they're they're asking about a, a a medical uh something that between you and your doctor, and they're basing your employment based on that. So that's illegal, man. Yo, and the dev, you want? Let me tell you how deep it is for me, and this is why my case is kind of. I think I got a a little bit more. Of, it's my one lawyer said it was an advantage, another lawyer says a disadvantage. But my case is my case was be, I it wasn't even a, the actual jab. I was against it. Don't even, you're not testing me. Like I wasn't even with none of that. So when it came to testing, they told me that I basically have to, um, if I either got to show proof of my doctor that I, that I'm getting tested there or something like that, or I got to like create some legal documentation saying it, I'm a, it's against my religion. And I'm like, I'm not lying. I don't, and I don't definitely, I, it, to me, it's against my, it's against my beliefs. Shit, because I think that whole testing was some satanic ritual that they did back in ancient Kemet. Facts. When they're sticking that shit in your nose and all that, that shit is an ancient ritual from from, from, from Kemet. When Facts. it's in your brain, exactly. You 100% right. When like, say, fuck off, and you're not doing that to me. I never got tested for COVID. Never happened. Bro, I wish I was hoping. I, you just, if I was, if if I had that thought when that was going on, that passed, that went over my head. And then when I'm thinking about it, that's it. It's, they put that, they were shoving that stuff all up in people's know, like in their brain. Facts, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you said I, I'm, I'm going to add, my lawyer, he kept saying that too. Like, do you want to go the, the religion route? But I'm like, no, this is just, I don't, legally precedent, they're not allowed to do this. And so I was just like trying to, I was kind of being egotistical about it, but that's a beautiful, I like that. I yeah, I would, I would definitely fall back on the, and and it's like I don't even like the word they use in religion. It's just against my beliefs, man. Period. Exactly. It's my right. And first of all, I don't even think they have a right to ask you if you were tested. Yo, that's real. Exactly. And actually, on the contract, they they kept having me sign. They made me sign it like five times. It said if you don't want to do it, if 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 you basically if you sign that, it was gonna make it easier for them to ask you about anything in the future. So I'm like, yo, I don't know what I, I don't. Why would I get tested if I'm a, and at the time I was a, 
No, I wasn't a vegan, but I was like on my health thing. I'm juice and all that stuff. I'm like, yo, I, I work out. I'm a, I'm in my marine shape. I don't think I'm gonna get sick from no anything. I'm good. I'm gonna protect myself. I'm a natural immunity. And they're like, no, we can't use that. Like, you can't tell me that I like. You can't tell me that I'm not gonna get sick. So yeah, it's crazy, bro. That, that but, was some real. Well, let me let me ask you something actually, because you just you mentioned you were former um, uh, marines. God bless you. Thank you for everything you did. Yes, right. Absolutely. Uh, I was actually trying to join the Marines, but they, they, uh, I went, I tried to join at the time when they were still bitching about like the tattoos. Oh, so I have one of my tattoos on my forearm. There's a line that goes a little far down the wrist. There's like, oh, they'll show, they'll show during the, uh, while you were in the uniform. So, so it is a no go. Damn. That's deep. Pain in the ass, bro. But it is what it is. It just wasn't meant for me. But, uh, let me ask you about the, uh, you, you heard about what happened with the, uh, the brother Jordan Neely on the F train. It's it, it's like a I know and yeah and I I saw what you're saying I'm a hundred percent see I'm gonna tell you two things first of all I'm a hundred percent with you I think that when people are on that I'm a I'm a subway rider that my, I'm a New York I'm all my whole life like so I'm a, I'm a, I'm a train Me too. it gets very wild on the train and people don't want to talk about it and when it do get wild on the train. People jumping off like, yo, nobody, why nobody not around? There's no cops, there's no this, no, there's no that. So nobody knows what happened before and all that. But the fact that that you see him in a chokehold and you see other people around. The fact that other people are helping him. Exactly. It proves that everyone on that train saw dude as some type of threat. Yes. God country core. That's how a Marine is set up. Like it's God country core. Like you don't think about hurting somebody intentionally like uh, we 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 license we uh, is you is a licensed weapon like you unless somebody we sign in the oath like when you if somebody is not coming at us with a weapon or something that's like um more damaging than just fist you can't we can't even fight them not no yeah. just fight no regular citizen so if somebody's doing that and putting them in a chokehold like that that was a threat that's just the reality if this is a marine like they say he's a marine this is just all Marine, once a Marine, always a Marine. I have never, anybody could be corrupted and all that. I'm pretty sure I met racist Marines. I met, oh, of course. But it's like, as far as honor, integrity, and all that type of stuff, when we really bonding, I've never seen, no matter how, all that stuff go out the window. I had, I was a platoon leader. I'll say this last thing, where I was cleaning out our stuff in, the, in California, and one of the rooms, all of the, it was like three mates, they had a Confederate flag in there. And it's like, I'm not, I would like whatever. I guess I'm supposed to be taught to feel away about that, but that was strictly what they was about. And these were strictly professional, respectable men, honorable people. I still call my brothers. So it's all just politics. It's a lot of politics. It's stuff. crazy because when you talk to a lot of these people that, that, that uh, have these Confederate flags, like the, it, a lot of them are not, it's not just racism. It's more so like they uh, the Confederacy was against the first national banks. Exactly. Way bigger than what they try to make it Way out. Way bigger than just the little narrative they try to throw out there. The Confederacy was like against a lot of the corruption that we see established today because they were against it from its origins. Yes. All this centralized, this, you taking yep. this, all you're doing is taking away from all the entrepreneurs. That's what you're doing. That's exactly. Reality. And, you, and when you say that the Jordan Lady thing, that's what it get. It reminds me of like, me and my brother was just talking. You actually just said it too. I just realized that when you talk about the compromised media, the word woke, that woke energy is driving everything right now in society. And yeah. that's, it's like, it's to the point where you're like, yo, did, what is going on? Y'all just sitting back like like this, waiting for something like this to happen and just like, yo, put all the money to this. Let's start a protest. Let's do this. Let's get the, start this interview up. That's what it seems like. Just a money yep, they, they roll out everybody. All, all the main characters of, of that type of shit, they pop out. They're, 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 they're fucking, uh, they're just race hustlers, man. This is all they are, bro. And it's crazy. It was deeper when you find out who's actually paying them. That's a whole fact. That's a whole fact, right? There. Like it's it's crazy that my son is getting more money from BLM than any of the families of the victims that they they're like uh making money off of. Ain't that something? Exactly, exactly. Getting mansions and all this stuff that they doing, whatever. All exactly. they do is learning how to hide it better too. Is that every time they get caught, they just learn how to hide it better. That's all that happened. You are hundred percent right. They were moving the money to some BLM foundation in Cal uh, in, in Canada. 
And they bought the mansion by the Canadian Association, sold it to another person who BLM in America bought it from that person. They were just moving money around, just washing it, washing it. And, and it's, it's, it's fucked up that when you, you still can't call it out without you have wait, the way. All right. So I heard I forgot exactly who said this, but I heard this somewhere. That it's crazy that every time you talk about BLM, you have to say, well, again, I'm talking about the organization, not not just the, the slogan. But that's why they yeah. named themselves BLM, because it's so hard to criticize them, because then they, people think, oh, you're against, you don't think Black Lives Matter? I'm not talking about the statement. We're talking about the organization and the political movement that they represent. That's real. A hundred percent. And it went... You know what's you just reminded me of something too, like how did BLM even manage to get as crazy as it got and have that sway with all of that George Soros stuff came out kind of early? Like I, yeah, I mean, came out early. It did, right? Yeah. Cause I never like from the beginning any like for me, honestly. I knew George Soros was funding it before the the one of the biggest protests that happened in the Bronx. Exactly. Where they were tearing up for them and shit. Like we know about the George Soros though. Oh, live and direct. That's deep. That's crazy. And I got family up there. I mean, my family in Gun Hill Road at Hunts Point. Like, oh was, yeah, 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 yeah. So now that that's what's no. Up. They were they were uh, protesting right here on Fordham. They were destroying the Jimmy Jazz. They were burning down the pharmacies that these old ladies in the neighborhood go to get their medicine every fucking day. Like, it, it made no sense. Like, why are why why the way y'all protesting is we're destroying our own neighborhoods, but then. A few months later, y'all saying, y'all blaming all those white folks for uh, storming Capitol Hill on January 6th. Yo. Man. So wait, the white folks taking it to these niggas' front doors, yes. they're terrible, but but we're, we're, we're virtuous because we destroyed our own neighborhood? Fact. What? No, and you can't be, that's just the dead serious truth right there. Which one, and all this, this gangster culture, which which one is we going to really call Oh, those, those niggas are the softest motherfuckers on the planet. <laughs> like, yeah. I'll respect those gangsters when they take it to Capitol Hill. Facts. And then on top of that, when we really see the footage, and that's why I think it's like, wait, people want to act like, I think they said, you see, they try to make things. Bro, and then cap the Capitol Police were giving those people tours of Capitol Hill, like, bro. Like, like it was not a violent event at all. Like, they, they had the doors opened up for them. You see how the straw man was giving a prayer for the he was like, Thank right. you for the policeman for helping us. <laughs> <laughs> that the shaman dude, I got questions about. I, I think he's like CIA affiliated. I have questions about that dude for all of his <clears throat> for how open he is with everything, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and like he was the one that was wearing like wearing the horns where all the camera footage was on him. It just seemed like he was there to make it look like a crazy event when it was really just a bunch of old white folks in pajama pants walking through the Capitol Hill. That was deep. He's the only one who really like that. You yeah, he was the only one that looked like that with his face painted like like he was ready for war. Your mind is real. I was thinking so much. See, my mind got this is the, hegel, this is the dialectic again. My mom was so focused on the um, not Rayful Edmonds, Ray Edmonds, Ray. Oh Edmonds. yeah, the Ray 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 Epps. Yeah, they, whoo, yep, yep, yep. Not, yo, how they gonna just act like that? Like he's literally like, yo, all right, go smash it up right now. Let's go. Fact, fact, bro. They had on the day of January sixth, he was on the top ten FBI's most wanted list. A week later, he was randomly taken off, <laughs> and they know where he is. He's done interviews after the fact. They Yo, know where he lives and everything. They just randomly took him off the list and they never mentioned it again. That's why I be looking at this stuff like, listen, I, if you, like, so sum that up, like with the Black Lives Matter, and when you see the chaos and the, the like, and now you say the shaman too, that would be like, that would be the, the ultimate genius move for them though, to create these two people, like sides for people to like, you want to like support and like try to get you grab. And, and it both leads to chaos. Exactly. That's the whole point. And like, yo, I preach, that's what I'm saying. Like, like they have the uh, what, what was the shorty Tamika Mallory from BLM out there saying, "Oh, let's go burn down Target, let's burn down AutoZone, or why why not burn down AutoZone? They should be out here." Exactly. Like what? Like what kind of logic is that? What type of logic is that? First of all, I bet a lot of black people were working at that damn AutoZone, making a good seventeen dollars an hour, which was a decent wage for them to provide for their family, and y'all just destroyed that shit. Exactly. Yeah, I don't know how long. Imagine somebody just got there. They was only working there for a month. Now the auto zone is destroyed. They can't even qualify for unemployment. 
facts. Nah, you speaking. That's a gem. That's a straight gem. You right, bro. That's crazy. Or then they'll they'll try to offer them some nonsense like, hey, if you don't want, we, we're not going to fire you, but you're going to have to relocate like 50 miles away now. Facts. That they can't do. Yep. Yep. We don't have to fire you. Now you just got to relocate to the other auto zone. That's two towns down. You got to take three buses and a train. Like, what the? Like, man. Right. These people make me sick, bro. They make me fucking sick. I'm with you. I'm the That's same why it's crazy thing. to me that, that URL, they were going hard supporting the BLM shit, too. I remember one event they had during the pandemic. They were doing the rooftop battles. Every single battle in the third round, it was some BLM George Floyd round. Mm. But nobody talks about the vaccine mandates, though. Exactly. Like what? What where y'all niggas' minds at, man? Like <laughs> exactly. I don't know, man. And it's the ones. This is the yo know, at that. This is the culture that claims we keep it real. We yeah. are keeping it real. Yeah, it kept it real with DNA and Charlie Clips telling people to go vote for Joe Biden. Like get the yeah, oh, keeping it real, right? I almost forgot. Yo, my stomach just turned because I was literally talking. Bro, about bro, this is the, the craziest part of the easy interview. When I brought that up, and he tried to say that URL wasn't involved. And they right in the background. <laughs> and they right there. There's videos of Beasley there with DNA and Charlie Cliss right before they shoot the video. The fucking the video on Joe Biden's channel says Ultimate Rap League yeah. presents. Like, what is you talking about, dude? These dudes are just straight up liars, and the fans allow these motherfuckers to just lie. I don't understand. That's it, brother. Yes, that's the problem. The fans gotta stop this. That's why I say the bloggers right now. Yo, especially when your blog is like you bleeding the truth with the act. It ain't even about that. Like content creates itself when you're just being righteous. Like it ain't it ain't nothing to it actually after that. Facts. I see one thing I'm learning from you already is like you could drop, but it's like a lot of stuff. You get the connections that you make in and that you can literally teach millions lessons off of one little stumble that they make. It reminds me of like, like, like I look at it like DNA too. He dropped something and like early in the day. And by the end of the night, I'm like, all right, I want to hit a breakdown of this. Like we're with a consciousness in this. And you deliver some ill, and it'll just might be for like 10, 15 minutes. You'll just touch on it sometimes, like the first step. But it's like, that's what's needed. And that's like the power of the fans. Like we got a power to like dictate what is the truth and what is not. And let's what's what do we want to support? Exactly. You you just gotta put the information out there, period. And, and let the people decide. Uh, this new world with censorship, they, they think people are so stupid that they can't recognize what's real and what's not. So they're like, oh, no, we can't give you this information because it's going to, you know, it might lead you the wrong way. This is misinformation, so you don't got to hear it. Okay, you think it's misinformation? Cool. Everyone has the right to hear it and make their own fucking decision about it. Exactly. You're 100% right. It's just like investment. It's like a stock. Like, you don't... You it's like uh, on MSNBC recently, right? Donald Trump had like some type of speech that he was out there giving, uh, be, you know, part of one of his rallies. MSNBC was bragging, saying, hey, we know Donald Trump is doing his speech, but we're not going to air it because we already know he's going to say a lot of misinformation. So we're just not going to air it. But if he says something important, we'll, we'll show it later. Wow. So they're literally filtering the news and they admitted this. Oh, no, I believe it was Rachel Maddow's show. You can actually find that clip at some point. I think, um, yeah, I like stuff like that. I, I like that type of exposure right there. Like, that's deep. Yeah, these, these people, uh, man, they treat, I, I don't know. And, and the people, they, they, they're okay with this. It's crazy to me, man. A hundred years ago, Americans would not settle for this. It's just we've been brainwashed to be okay with some type of state censorship, state control over our lives. And when that's what America was founded to be against. Exactly. Seriously, people want to... Listen, I got gripes with this country too, but it's more so these government entities that are trying to take over the country. But the country was founded on God-fearing principles. Yes. The Constitution... They, the Constitution lays out our God-given rights. Our, every right that we have in this country is given to us by God. That's what the, the right is based off of. Sorry. We have the right to freedom of speech... Because God gave us free will. We, we, could, we have freedom of speech, freedom of expression, freedom of religion, freedom to defend ourselves, right? Freedom of privacy, that we don't have some state surveillance going on in our own personal homes. These are all God-given rights. 
facts, brother. You are hundred percent. That is a hundred. That's like the whole foundation of what everybody. That's when you a patriot and you patriotic. That's what that means, and that's why. Bro, the Constitution is a perfect document. Like, like even if we took down this country, all the corrupt, and we started over, we would start over with the Constitution because these are the most basic rights that we would want as human beings. Straight facts, brother. Exactly. That's the whole point. That's why I got to be uplifted. And like, the, listen to what you're saying. The first law, the first amendment, matter of fact, Freedom of speech or something that's 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 being tampered with that don't make no type of sense right that, now. We gotta watch this and watch this. We that's the craziest this. part about the Democrats because they're saying, "Oh, our democracy is at stake. Our democracy is at stake." When they're the ones trying to take away our freedom of speech, there is no democracy without freedom of speech. Yo, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. It, it's not. It doesn't even make logical sense when you really think about it. it doesn't make logical sense. Real talk, bro. And it's like. And it's like then when you add the agendas that get pushed, that's when I think it gets like I it, it takes it so you can learn. See, like you can learn about what's going on, and like I if people are choosing to follow this, you want to follow the political system, you want to be a Democrat, Republican, whatever, do your thing. But it's like when you're just being guided towards this, and you know that they're guiding them towards something that's gonna just loop them and create a whole generation of old nonsense. Got to step up because that's going to affect you and everything about your livelihood. And that's where we at right now. Like, exactly. Well, yeah, I'm not a Democrat or a Republican. I don't respect both uh, either side. Like they're both corrupt. But if exactly. we're talking about basic principles and morality and we look at the policies that both sides are pushing, there's one side that's clearly, <laughs> clearly, <laughs> clearly more god fearing than the other side right that's right still on. trying to keep uh, uh you know keep traditional families intact that's trying to not murder millions of fucking children <laughs> like like there's clearly one side that makes a little more sense than the other man uh there's one side bro the other side is telling you that there's no such thing as a man or a woman Ooh, bro and that that's when we're once people are believing that shit we're living in babylon Okay, exactly. Babylon, right? Babylon just means confusion. Exactly. Oh, you are on point. Yes. Yes. So that's they're confusing people. Like, that's all they're doing. They're trying to blur the lines between men and women. They're trying to, like, it's a, they're just trying to feed you lies as the truth. And just you can see how that thing was being trinkled. It was like little drops was being sprinkled since. And we know when it really happened. Like, I, I'm, I got a song about, like, that's why I'm a fan too. You, you be dropping some the real rap is my level. It's my level. I got a song about that whole thing in Obama, like 2008 is a day. Yep. That was some real a lot of changes on a lot of levels. But you got that. Yo, that's crazy. Thinking back to his first campaign, it was change, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> you you on point. I forgot about that. That was his slogan, and it, it, things definitely changed. You all point. Yes, I, I I had the only reason I literally wrote that the rhyme was dedicated. Um, I'm a fan of Nas. Um, and Me too. Rewind, rewind, bro. Rewind like, is one like, of the greatest Nas songs of all time. I could not. I like one fan was the first one that I flipped. I'm like, I have to, I have to do something to that because one fan I fell in love with that. But I mean, one mic. See, I, I'm 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 saying my my version. I did one fan, but I did um. It's called Ass Backwards. It's it's like re I, so. That's my only record I was able to do like that, and it's original. I'm dropping on my second album. I'm a, definitely saying like I want to hear how you feel about it since you like definitely. Us. But I say that to say this, like yeah, that whole change thing. I always looked at it like something was weird about that. Like I w it was people I was seeing who never cared about anything political. And just because they just made this person black for all your life, you said all presidents is racist and all yeah. presidents are this thing. They just put a face on him and now you just trust all Democrats for the rest of your life now. That was an ill scheme that they had. Yep. And it was all planned. Yeah, it went out crazy. And then making Donald Trump look like Donald Trump. I, I'm going to be honest now. Yeah, Man, I, Donald Trump grew around. I bet Donald Trump grew up around more black people than Barack Obama. I agree. 100%. And fucking Barack Obama grew up in Hawaii with his white mother. Donald Trump grew up in New York City. <laughs> exactly. 
<laughs> they be doing tours in Queens. Like, yeah, Donald Trump family was right here. Like, Facts. <laughs> you can't make that up. You can't make that up. That's real. The whole hip hop community got... Donald Trump... They Bro, Donald up. Trump was an icon in hip hop. And so he ran for president. And they, yeah, that's what I didn't like. And that's what made me like... They don't. This is how stupid people are, though. Sometimes, when you try to expose somebody and you look dumb, and like, wait, they tell me the first thing I heard. They were like, "Yo, he said he want to build a wall to take to keep um, um immigrants out." Yeah, like, so did Barack Obama, and so did Hillary Clinton. I'm, exactly. Like, ain't that what they talk about when they talk about what do you think they mean when they talk about border control? Like, what are you? <laughs> what, what's crazy? What's crazy? What we're paying for right now is we're paying for a wall for Ukraine right now and their borders. That. When I heard, bro, oh my gosh, exactly, exactly. And it brings me up to now, what is your thoughts? See, that, that was, I'm glad it was an ill segue because I, I am curious. To, I wanted to think, um, I don't think I already seen you talk too much about this specifically, but it's like the stuff that happened recently when um, with the drone or whatever with, with, with um, Russia, you think that. Like, see, let me just say how I feel first. And I'm just, it reminded me of like when they had the um, Nord Stream. Yep. Yep. I was just about to say that. Exactly. So it's like, wait a minute. You going to tell, if you're, uh, if the media's immediate reaction was, yeah, Russia probably did that. And Russia's immediate reaction is to try to fix it. You can't tell me that they did it themselves. So that's what the first reaction I heard from the media. I honestly didn't get to do that much research on it. I'm There's a, a great channel, um, the Jimmy Dore show, right? The Jimmy show? Jimmy Dore. Jimmy Dore. Okay. He, he he covers the Ukraine stuff extensively. Thank you. Um, okay. There's already proof that America did it. There's, there's already proof that the U.S. did it. The media just doesn't want to talk about it. And uh, the reason I don't talk about it too much on YouTube is because it's literally like written in the YouTube uh guidelines that we can't talk about the ukraine situation it's fucking crazy Why did, bro no you really just helped me out a lot then i had no idea and I, i'm trying my best i had so much it's hard bro it's hard yeah you you I can't had, talk about that ukraine situation unless you're pro ukraine but yeah nah, so good luck but jimmy door um he he uh again these channels that have over a million subscribers they they get a lot of more leeway than us mm, they'll because yeah. they, they get reviewed by actual people so okay. like that you can't get reviewed by the actual person and you're showing them real facts and documentations proving proving that what you're saying is true and then they still like because then that's going to lead to some other shit but with us they just have an ai review and they're like oh well this is anti-ukraine it's misinformation boom you're done and we will you'll never be able to talk to a human being <laughs> from youtube about it that's deep i appreciate that knowledge now that was real I, and yeah I, it was the I'm same thing we like talking about the vaccine back in the day Exactly. Well, that's kind of how my whole thing. I went. I learned the hard way. Me too. Me Twice. Every every single one I could had, I had to remake a new social media. That's why I just said I had to take a break from it. That's real. You just dropped a gem. I I was right about to actually because what I did. I'm glad I didn't do it yet. Then I made a um. I do it. A, I like. Well, I I normally teach my. I teach history and math. By the way. So when I teach my history students, we always get into like the who, what, when, where about the world and to compare World War One and World War Two. But now I'm doing a lot of comparison of which one is more like what's happening today. And World War One came up a lot. So I just did a whole thing about World War One. And I'm literally was literally going to be working on this week comparing it. But now I am absolutely because I was going to go a route that I probably don't think I wanted to go now that you said that. Yeah, you gotta you gotta be careful with that. And if you do do it, upload it to Rumble. On Rumble, you could do it. Oh yeah, see, this is the second time I'm hearing you say that too. And I'm like, I heard that, but I I'm like, it must it's not spelled like a regular Rumble, right? Nah, it's spelled like Rumble. Yeah, it's R U M B L E. All right, so now I'm gonna go like I yeah, that de definitely. If you get now, if you're already planning, because that sounds dope. That sounds dope. A comparison with the Ukraine war with the World War One that that sounds crazy. You should upload that to Rumble. Good looking because I was and you just I, I, that's why I salute you because I was right about to say like the main thesis and I'm like you were I, like let me leave it alone then because it's it's kind of actually it looks as if like damn whatever game plan was there it's like somebody it, it's all it's all U.S. control man when you look up Zelensky Zelensky's history he was like a, a comedian and an actor exactly he, I think he did a sketch where he was wearing a dress and everything like this dude is a whole clown mm. and um. We, you know about how Obama set up the coup and like their government back in 2014. 
We, we, we actually interfered with their election and we installed somebody into their uh, uh, leadership. And then over time, they, they eventually got Zelensky, which is just another plant, another puppet. The dude's just an actor. Uh, that's why he was visited by... Uh, who visited him? One, one of these actors visited him and brought him an Oscar. They gave him their Oscar as a whole little show. Oh, he's up there, that man. They got him ranked. That's crazy. Damn. Yeah, Zelensky. Zelensky's a whole plant. Like, <laughs> bro, that, I, I can't stand that Ukraine situation, but you can't go too much into yeah. it. You, and that's kind of why I see now why I really only think I literally never got more than just the whole acting thing. But I knew it was clearly from the way to talking and the way how is things moving. Something is like, it's like, damn. I oh, just, yeah. Just look up uh, Obama Ukraine 2014 uh, coup. God. Right, because we, we set up a whole coup in their government. We interfered with their elections and everything. That literally, you just, that, and that adds directly to the whole thesis. So I'm going to, yeah, we go, that's a fire. And now, all right, you know what? I'm a, we'll, make, we'll make this perfect transition because I see Hitman Holla now at the, um, at the um, thing. So you saw the Coast Coleon paint battle? Was you ever see that? No, nah, I didn't get to see that. I wanted to see that because I, I fuck with pain. Yeah, see now that was crazy because I I fuck with Pink too, but I didn't know. Yeah, I heard I heard Coach won. I fuck with Coach Coleon, but I fuck with I like I've been the fan of Pain since um Big Cannon. Like that's the first time I, I, I didn't even know about the one hundred six pop thing or not like that. I probably guess I seen them when I was younger. Oh, I I I don't remember that dude on one hundred six and Park at all. But <laughs> I remember New Jersey Twerk stole bars from him back in two thousand twenty in the Danny Myers battle. From Payne? Yeah, he stole it from Payne. Shit. Yeah, I, I had a video ex uh, on one of my old channels. I, I put it out there. Uh, oh, I'm about to say, like, damn. I thought I was caught up on that whole bit because I definitely did my little, like, I need to say, who's doing this recycling stuff? Like, DNA to go in. I want to know ahead of time. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Now, now, New Jersey Twerk, he stole bars from Payne and Bankhead in that Danny Myers battle. Oh man, see, yeah, when you got that legendary status, the goat goats don't get that. I never heard that about people who claim to be goats. You can't Facts. have that on your record at all. Like that used to end your career. Yeah, you. It, that's what wasn't it like that back in the days. It was yeah. definitely like that back in the day. Once you have that on your jacket, you can't rap no more. Yeah, but then then that's the benefits of being Amwas manager. I, I mean, Amwas right. thing I guess. That, and I seen that, that thing about I don't know what I don't know if you seen it. I think D and me. The tweet was talking about it like, um, the like, next Turk was like, Yo, I just want to thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, he posted the little Man Crush Monday uh, uh tweet about Anwar. <laughs> did you hear the? Did you see the reply? Nah, I didn't get to read the replies. Oh, that, that, you probably <laughs> I thought the tweet was just nasty itself, but I definitely got to read those replies. Yeah, because I, I got I'm a, I got something that me and my partner, we, when we're doing the recaps, we do something called, um, we're going to have to add a new adept section too. We do something called like um, DNA's Two for Ward. Like, and we say out of every rap event, Who's the battle rapper that's probably gonna get a DMA two blog blog about them? Like who did something like a Shaq and the Fool type shit? Yep, yep. But on the flip side, when I read the twerk thing, I laughed at it and I ain't taking it. When I seen the response, Anwar replied, and I was laughing I'm like, "Yo, that was gonna kill them for this one." Oh, I bet Anwar wrote an essay. I gotta go. I gotta go read you that. You know what? Let me see if I can actually pull it up. That'll be yeah, funny. Yeah. You can right now live. Pull that up. Pull Back. that up if you can. I bet Anwar wrote like multiple tweets in a row and wrote a whole essay. Oh no, nah, hold up, yeah, nah. He, I, I'm just gonna get to you right now. What the first thing I said is, you gonna do a whole, a whole thing, a whole campaign about how zesty it is. I believe it. So that's the first thing I Man, said. Man, you saw the video of them like uh, wrestling on the bed, right? Nah, I, I seen when they wait. Nah, nah, I, I seen when Twerk did something in his house, but I ain't watched the whole thing. He was like, "This is my house," and. He did like a making a thing. He was like, and was in here. And I'm like, all right, my man, he's like, my manager's upstairs. I'm like, I ain't know y'all live together. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they've been living together for a while. Uh, it was actually reported while Twerp was staying with them that he was having sex with Rita. Oh, shit. Now, yeah, I'm missing a lot of, yo, I got mad catch up to do like this. But yeah, there's a video of uh, Anwar and New Jersey Twerk. They're wrestling on the bed. God damn. That, I'm like, now it's like my taking away my energy for me looking up this thing right here, but I gotta I gotta read this tweet with you. Anwar and and this guy wrestling in the bed. That's, yeah, that's, these dudes are crazy, man. 
yeah, I know. Nah, maybe I gotta go to. I'm gonna go to Twerk Spade. But as for the Big K and Murder Mook battle, though, I I had Big K winning. Uh, ah, yeah. I, I had him. I had him edging the second round. Both both of their second rounds was crazy. Uh, yes. Was fire to me. I had him edging the second round because he was just more direct. And that third round, oh man, <laughs> the dog strikes again. That, that third round was just crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> the, and he did the math angle oh better than anyone else has done that math angle, man. The score, yo, he the, the, yeah, he the, the setup. You don't have to explain the math to your kids, oh, like, yo, no. yeah, bro, you were a hundred percent right. The the thing that I think caught me off guard too, that was the first time where. I never seen Murder Mook after. It reminded me of like when Big K did the A word. Yeah, he took, something happened to him that third. Like his, I that was the lowest round I gave Murder Mook. Like that third round was, like you had some things about the dog. He had like a little dog. Yeah, no, no, the, the, yeah, yeah. To call him Toto, like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 nah, Mook's third round was cool. It just it wasn't it wasn't what Big K did. The ex- and then w- what about when when Mook was like, "Yo, he did he trying to do the swear to God to Big K after not doing the swear to God from answering Big K swear to God?" So yeah, was like, yeah oh, that, that was kind of crazy. You look crazy with that. That yeah. was kind of crazy. Yep, swear to God, you ain't stay at Um P's house. And then even the Um P angle was funny. I liked Mook's third round. It just wasn't right. enough. It just wasn't enough, yo. Yeah. But his second round, like I said, that's what I said. It, it's like Big K's third round, and I like like that. The second round was definitely real close for me. But I, yeah, it was real close. I thought I thought Mook got into the different. The only thing for me why I gave Mook that second round, Mook got into so much different pockets back to back to back, and it was like a K A's K's angle though was like. He started it off ridiculous, so yeah, I can't. It's like a, it's one of them ones in the air for me. I just was like, jo- I was enjoying the, the hierarchy. I guess the um, the versatility. I guess is what I was yeah. doing more. But you're right, the directness that Big K had. That's the, that's what battle rap is about, really. At the end of the day, <laughs> you get yeah. Me? I thought I thought Big K was a little more direct, but I thought because uh, what in the second round that was Mook doing the the saying that he has nursery rhymes and he did the whole alphabet stuff. I thought it was real creative and cool. I did. I did. I did. Exactly. I did. And in the first round, I thought their first round, I I, I feel like both of their first rounds were kind of light. Yeah, exactly. But I had Murder Mook win in the first round. Yeah, I do. That's the one I say. was. That's the only one I say he got clear. Yeah. Like, he can't, that he could say that one, but he was getting into different pockets and it felt like that old energy, but. No, bro, I got I, – I love Big K. I, I actually literally always been a fan, but I, he's on another level right now. Yeah. That's it, officially. Officially, it's no more – cool. if they give him Lux tomorrow, ain't no I'm surprised about that. No, nah, I'd be kind of surprised he got Lux. <laughs> I'd be kind of surprised he got Lux. I'm not going to front. Yo! Because that's just a weird battle to me. That, that would just be weird. I'd be out there. I'd yeah. want to see it. I definitely want to see it, but – I'd be out there. The way Lux moving though, he he can't possibly like. Don't you realize all the? It's like all the conscious, like I the or everybody who was on some conscious wave either like completely left, uh, like abandoned that, or they not even rapping at all. Like I can't. When is he gonna battle again? When is Lux even planning on like the daylight? Hey, I, mean, I guess the daylight thing, but I don't know. You think that is better to like um. I love the idea if they're going to I would it. love for them to just do it themselves. Exactly. That's right. Yeah, I don't know what's stopping them from just doing themselves and then selling it on Vimeo for two ninety nine. Gee, that would be so genius. I thought they was going to do that already. I thought that's what the whole thing was. And for like New Year's, it was going to release it. And it's crazy because it's not like they wouldn't have the promotion. It's Loaded Lux and Daylight. The Joe Budden podcast is going to talk about it. Uh, uh, all real hip hop and all those other hip hop DX, all those websites, they're gonna talk about it. Hot ninety seven is gonna talk about it. Y'all not gonna have a problem selling this. You a hundred percent right. There's no debate about that either. So that's why it's I don't. That's why all the these it, guys are too afraid to take a, a risk on themselves. That's what it really. They is. want these guaranteed sponsors to take care of them, but like 
man, I, I feel like they could just do it themselves, man. Y'all do, they, y'all want to do it when y'all old and nobody cares anymore? Because per, per, personally, I don't care about the battle anymore. Exactly. I personally Likewise. don't, but I know some people still do, but it's not the same hype as it was two years ago. Exactly. Like, we still going to watch it, but we, I'm not thinking about it. Exa- like, I was, I'm I was not. looking forward to it two years ago. Exactly. Like, I'm not thinking about that at all. You want, like, if it don't happen, I'm really already like, whatever. Like, I just don't care. Yeah. If it doesn't happen, I really don't care. Yeah, <laughs> Honestly. It's a hundred percent. You hundred percent. Especially right. we, we, we saw Lux just die to Geechee Gotti. Like. Ooh, exactly. That, it, it definitely took a major thing out of it with that one. You're right. You're right. Yeah, that, that really hurt that matchup. You know who I'm I'm trying to see more, like literally, and this is a it's a real thing. I don't even really know. I know you you work with them, you rock with them, but I'm trying to see like I I know is Yo Yo gonna really come with something to beat quantum physics? I know you oh, said so, so quantum physics backed out of the battle because he has another um he has another battle. So now the battle's being replaced by with Reaper Row. Oh So now Yo Yo's gonna battle Reaper Row. Which is gonna be cool. It, well, well, I just found out about this like like a few hours ago. Oh, okay. I'm about to say I must have been sleeping. Like I thought I was. Oh, I, I'm looking forward to that shit. And all that. I was. I was really looking forward to that, man. But we're gonna right. try to. He's. He's. That. That battle's still gonna happen. It's still gonna happen. Just at a later time. I like the versatility. Like, I heard yo yo. Like, listen, when people got multiple talents, I think that's something we. Like you just said, they scared. Like you got just because you're a battle rapper, learn how to invest. Learn how to invest in yourself. Like. They got a major thing that everybody knows. You whatever you spend, whatever daylight and Lux, Lux would spend putting the the production together, they gonna make that back in the week. In the first, they're week. gonna make it back. They're definitely gonna make it. They're they're at the least they're making that money back. Exactly. Ex- you're not no losses. That's my exactly. There'll I'm be just, no loss at all taken right. by doing that. Yeah, and if you do it right, get some right people behind you, get some right minds. But if you don't have no business mentality about it, they can really profit beyond their drink, beyond anything they did here, and make residual income like they should be. I wonder if any of them, their contracts wouldn't even allow them to do that. That might be because, exactly. like, if your contract, all right, cool, you can't go battle on other leagues. I think that's terrible, but that's what y'all signed up for. <laughs> but if y'all can't even battle together on your own and sell it that's crazy you signed your your fucking life away yo you 100 percent right that's crazy you 100 percent right that's what that literally means and that's probably when see i think you said it too when the caffeine thing came around that looked like it was supposed to be this big beautiful situation for everybody but it looked like it just yeah you got a big a big lump sum came and um i forgot about this too this twitter thing a big lump sum came, but um, the sacrifice for the nonsense came right after it. Of, of and like, you know what's the saddest thing? They're never going to be able to recover from it, too. They're never going to be able to recover from it. Once they signed, they sold out to caffeine, they got paid for a little bit of time. They definitely benefited through the pandemic because of caffeine. But now, if caffeine leaves, they've already destroyed their brand so much by not dropping on YouTube by by totally disconnected from casual fans without caffeine i don't know how url's gonna survive and they, and you, they, i don't think they are either i don't think they are either i talked to my partner about it and it's like um they i think they with their they took they didn't take for granted is that their loyal fan base which was basically most battle rap you can basically say Mm. Gonna just stick around forever no matter what they do and that's not the case that's not the case so as those fans leave and you're no longer garnering new fans how are you going to survive yeah that's a that's real that's real and I'm, they I'm, put themselves in a position where now they're dependent on caffeine they need caffeine now and for them to not even be able to do anything to not even be able to be smart and just yo if they just drop one battle if they drop, I think the second or third best battle, I think DMA True, may, oh, I think all of y'all probably broke it out, but it's smart. Just drop one battle from every event. Every I think the best thing would be to drop the best battle from the event because then everybody's going to want that YouTube drop. That's just going to make all the rappers go harder. Exactly. Because they want that YouTube drop. That helps battle rap. No, that it helps, helps battle rap. I don't understand why they would not do that shit. It's a whole new award. You were right. That's that's crazy. a whole new award. Fact. That's the most valuable award at each event. 
Yo, you know, that means that, see, it's easy to you. you we eat a villa with people. And what's crazy is the way Smack and Beasley could roll it out, too. They were like, you see these rappers, they've been wanting YouTube drops. So now, going forward, every event, the best battle of the night, you're going to get that YouTube drop. Yo, that would be so exactly. And we, the fans, will love it. The battle rappers going to double love it. You get the YouTube drop and whatever extra clout you get for being like the champion of the year for the event. Exactly. And then also, when they talk about champion of the year, they'll be like, yo, he had this many YouTube drops. He had, like, you know what I mean? Like, they're going to be talking about that. That was, yo, that's it. I really hope, see, this is what I'm talking about. These they don't like, listen, bro. They don't listen, man. Because that's puppet master stuff. That's what it got to be there. You can't tell me that that's not brilliant. Yeah. It helps, it helps everybody. The league is going to get more. I would literally, I What's say, crazy is it, it's a manipulation tactic. Really? So I don't know why you all doesn't love it. Because at the end of the day, you're making these dudes rap harder hey, for the same is. amount of money. And that's what's not happening right now. Exactly. Fact. These dudes are complacent because they know the battle's just going to drop on the app. Nobody's going to watch it, so who gives a fuck? Yeah, bro. I, 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 I'm, and that's why I can't support the app. It's no way. And I can't logically... Like, I had, I was supporting it two times. I was buying it um, for two different accounts. So I'm paying it twice on purpose. Like, I was trying to support it that To so really support it, yeah. And for, like, before it got this crazy, like, just, I mean, I just probably stopped it, like, two months ago. But I was still <laughs> holding on. And it's like, now y'all talking about a schedule? Now you, I'm like, I'm done. Like, even with that, it, it wasn't enough for me. And it made me literally, the, the, the fact that they tried to do something and it was so, it was so ridiculous. I had to completely shut everything down. And it was just like, yeah, you... Bro, they you, wait like three months to drop these battles now on that app. And who cares? I don't even want to recap them. Like, Facts. Like Once they drop, nobody gives a crap. Nobody cares about those battles. Like, y'all dropping battles in April where dudes are still wearing winter coats. That was hilarious when I first heard that. You right. That's them. crazy to me. <laughs> That's crazy. No, I, it's ag it's so aggravating though too because what do you, wait so you gonna take the battle you gonna pay the battle rappers like measly money and then you're not gonna help them get exposure for their own personal brands like they can this, do this is this is why I think URL is the the biggest suckers on the planet they all have a whole app y'all could have a section on that app where you sell the battle rappers merch damn a dap you. Oh, that like you could go to a search bar, type in a battle rapper. You could type, you could click their name. You could not only see their battles. There should be a tab with merchandise. You know, how and it's crazy because URL can make money off of it too. Crazy. It just doesn't. They they don't make any sense whatsoever. They don't want to help these battle rappers at all, even if it benefits them as well. That's how you know it really is, sadly, Mr. It's manipulation. Hey, come on, man. I can't be the only person saying this. They got so many people in these rooms, man. Nobody's bringing this up. Because that's brilliant. You're right. It's, it's, and these, that's the second idea you said like that, where they can take it right now, today, and profit where everybody benefits. And who is going to not want to actually, you know what's fire about that? It's like when you pay for promotion on somebody's website. Because exactly, they're going to now promote the app even heavier because they're like, "Yo, my merch is there." You can go exactly. Back. What is gonna? It literally makes the battle rappers promote the app. Fire, bro! That's crazy. They need to hire. That's what I've been saying that for a while. Y'all complaining about it? Them hire him. Like, stop playing games. Like, on some partnership shit. Like, because that's what it is. You gotta when somebody's thinking like a boss, you gotta come to them like a boss as well. You gotta respect that, and that's the only way. I, I if, even I'm not saying that that's because that's how I think. Like, I don't. Yeah. I, I'm gonna speak the truth the whole time, but I really want to help. Like, I think that would be the good thing to keep this going, to keep these going. That's why. That, that's why I find it crazy that they say that me and DME Detroit that we're trying to destroy battle rap when everything we're saying is literally to help battle rap. Yeah. All of it. And I've been screaming about the merchandise thing since the app first came out. I don't know why they don't do that. Yo, battle rappers, man, and you that's the biggest because that's the way that they they can literally make more per money from their from their own merch per battle than they make per battle. And the more you get paid, the more merch you can sell. Exactly. It. So yeah, that it's like but it's something going on where so is it that's what I'm like it gotta it's like it's a mixture of stupidity. If you're not doing it or just you just can't because I don't get it. You can't as a natural hustler. Everybody. That's what I don't like about the street culture at this point right now. Like everybody talk about this tough thing.
but then you don't respect when you see somebody be tough if they just just because they white. Or or something dumb like that, or right. because they're not gangsters, or they're not in the gang, you don't respect this or that about them. That's like saying if somebody don't got a college degree, they dumb. That's the stupidest thing. But that, that, that brings us back to the Jordan Neely conversation. I feel like the, a lot of people they would respect what the dude did if he was black. Damn you, white hell! Everyone, everyone would be like, man, uh, if he was black, that took down the fucking uh, the dude. They'll be like. Nah, that, that dude had the right to do that. That nigga came on the train demanding money, threatening people, and was throwing garbage at people. Exactly. Hell yeah, I, I would have took him out too. That's what everyone would have said. Everybody would have said that. Everybody. Everybody would have said that. And if the guy, this is another thing people don't re re realize. Oh, if the guy was white, yeah, yeah. If Jordan Neely was white, yeah. <laughs> this exactly. wouldn't even be a story. <laughs> no, nah, but then too, when you choke it, when you, if, if you have, first of all, when you got to get to the point where you got to do that, for, I don't, you can't, the whole trying to compare this to George Floyd is another nonsense thing. Like, that, whatever. Yeah, that's nonsense. But when you think about it, you the guy resisting and all that, he don't have a time in his head saying, I'm going to kill this guy in certain, certain seconds. You're just trying to stop him. You're Bro, just, time you're, is relative. Like Murder Mook said in the, in the face-off with Big K, time is relative, bro. All of that could have happened. Y'all saying it was 15 minutes, and that dude's perspective, it probably all happened in 45 seconds. Exactly my point, because you is the and I know as a marine, that's literally you want you got to see. That's the thing they they. Oh, bro, and my, as a, I've, I know mad marines. They say you're trained for yes. combat. Period. Bro, once yeah. once a situation is like that, and you got to neutralize a threat that is an active threat to the people around you, you're not thinking. You're not thinking. You're just going out to neutralize the threat. Bro, that's literally why I stepped. That's one of my biggest reasons why I had to change. When I got, I went to Marines right after, like, I basically said, it, I'm going to, let me get out this, all, all, any type of street politics, whatever. Let me change my life right now. So when I came back with that mentality, I had to, I can't go back this route because it's going to be murderous, whatever. It's, you can't think the same way anymore. You can't, you can't. Even think about a fight. You're trying to become a, a, a weapon. Strictly, exactly. Like I, if I, <laughs> the, if some of the first lessons that we learn is some of the most intense stuff, but you can't tell nobody to, you can't tell a marine to restrain this person and just guarantee that you don't kill him. You're gonna confuse me. Like I don't even. You're, know you're confusing me. Exactly. I'm just gonna take this person down. I'm waiting for the proper authorities to come and put him in cuffs. That's it. Oh, and you don't want to. You don't want to start something, and you're the only blind of defense. You see that you're the one who's trying to stop him, and then you let him loose, and he got something on you, and you done. Now you done. Exactly. So we're not trained that way, so they bark up the wrong tree, thinking that. And I think as prepared to be a marine is gonna show some stuff. Like, but this is why. Like, in New York City, it's very tough to live here, man, because this doesn't happen in Texas. Like, this doesn't happen because everyone is armed. Exactly. Everyone is armed, so everyone has re respect for one another because nobody wants to turn this into a shootout. Isn't that, in isn't that interesting? You yep. Know, that's so crazy. We got all these people in New York, too, with the politics. Like, wouldn't that be the route? Wouldn't we all want to, to be, like, fighting for gun rights then? Exactly. So, like it's just like common sense. Especially when them when they talk about systemic racism, gun control is the most. That's one of the most racist policies ever implemented. They, it was literally implemented to for, to stop black people from getting a gun. Exactly, and and it's like that's the stuff I'm bro, and that's why I oh, that is just the longest I went. You got me. That's why I appreciate your energy. I went this long not mentioning Malcolm X month. Like I'm like from this is the first month I've been planning this for like years, but at, like. To, to dedicate, this is like in how instead of Black History Month, this is going to be the time where these issues going to be focused on, but not like this way because they 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 hijacked it. They even hijacked Black History Month. I can't even. Yeah, they did. Talk, that's I can't. What's crazy this. in these schools now? I bet Black History Month they just teach about George Floyd and fucking <laughs> just victims. You know, when I grew up, Black History Month, we heard empowering stories. We heard about people that uh, uh, made it became successful regardless of the, of uh, the struggle that they went through. Now they just teach, oh, yeah, struggle and victimhood. Yo. They don't talk about the success stories no more at all. Yes, you are on point. On, you are I remember so when I was in school in Black History Month, that's when we learned that the, the air conditioner was created by a black man. I learned about the first black physicist, the, the first black astronaut. They all did this through the times of uh, Jim Crow. 
You know what I mean? And they became successful regardless of that shit. Exactly. Uh, literally entrepreneurs, you heard about that type of stuff. Fact. Right yeah. after slavery ended, you heard about the woman that became a millionaire selling like, what was it, maple syrup or some shit? Exactly. I forgot what she was selling, but she became a millionaire off that shit. Exactly. Right after slavery, once she became free, she got to the bag. Exactly. That's the stuff I'm talking about, bro. And that's exactly what all this is really about right now with this energy, with what we got going on right here. And it's like, yo, we are put, they, like, you asked about the school thing. I got to be honest with you and tell you, because I know I say it every, I say this about once a month. If people really knew what's going on in the schools, we would change our entire mentality about school, the school system. Facts. It's, it's, it's to the point now where I'll tell you two points. One time I personally got in trouble. Well, I didn't get in trouble, but it's like a um it's like a warning. They gave me my first one of my first one is after my fifth year because I made Frederick Douglass story about how he overcame slavery and didn't just he got into politics and used all their different skills, learn how to read and wrote this autobiography. And I made him into a superhero. It was called Super Frederick Douglass, and we all did this big report about it. I got in trouble for that because during mm -hmm. Black History Month. They want us to talk about the select group of people and certain topics. That's the first story. The second story is today. What's going on? The last, the, right before I had to leave on um, this um, system, they gave they give us a set of posters for Black History Month. All six. Po I'm just gonna tell you one, and they all match. One of the guys was Bayard Rustin. He's one of the civil rights activists who was with Martin Luther King. I never even knew. Well, I heard that they suspected that he was gay, but the point that he's on the board for Black History Month, LGBT activists. Wow. Why? Why are they being connected? Why is it being packaged together? I couldn't. It blew. They gave us the hope. They had the posters ready, Adele. They yeah. had the posters ready for us, six different posters of different people. He wasn't the only one. So that means that that's that's what I'm talking about. That's what's happening. That's what's happening right now. And I don't think it's going over. You you know, all the students are not even actually reading this. So they don't think that these are people. They're not actually high school students are not knowing that all these are LGBT student um, people. Mm -hmm. So now it's like, all right, I'm just knowing these words. I'm researching this person. And it's like, I don't got nothing against that. But why are we? It's like this is a, it's a clear agenda. It's, I can't talk about Malcolm X. I literally was not able to talk about Malcolm X the way I wanted to talk about him. Not and sure. that wasn't anything crazy, just basics. But um, but I, I could talk about Bayard Rustin and how he was connected to Martin Luther King. So yeah, that, it's interesting when you said that stuff about education. They do that a lot, man. I, I, it's sad. It's definitely sad. And, and they attack actual black heroes that exist today, that are alive today, like like Clarence Thomas, who was in the, the, the one of the first black men in the Supreme Court after Thurgood Marshall, you know what I'm saying, and he was elected. He was put there by uh, President Bush Senior, right? Clarence Thomas. They tried to destroy this man. They dragged this man. They even went as far as to call Katanji Brown Jackson the first black member of the Supreme Court. That's a fucking lie. Oh, that's grimy. They Damn. definitely did that. Yes, they did. They said that. In multiple news articles, they said that they headlined that she was the first black member of the Supreme Court when Clarence Thomas is right there. They've been disrespecting that man for so long. That's crazy. But that's how you know that's somebody who you got to respect. And if they disrespect him like that, you got to pay attention to what he's bro, doing. Bro, Clarence he's Thomas, if you look into his story, bro, that dude is, 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 is he, he's, he's a hero, bro. Yeah. Not like, like, in terms of like, he, he accomplished so much yes. through diversity. This dude literally was going through the Jim Crow era. Exactly. That's what I. That's that story is you. That's how you you take control of that. You get your recognition. And that's how you stand on business. And then when you do that, that's when you get these stars. And then what they do, the clever thing is, they get oh uh, he a black leader. Let's get some black people to hate on him. Exactly. A rap from the yeah. Call him a coon. Call him a coon. Call him a, all this other stuff. That's exactly. Call him a Tom. Call him whatever you like. It's just crazy, man. Why? Because he he he's he doesn't support abortion, so he's a coon. Yeah. <laughs> what is, when did abortion become pro black? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Damn, you're right, brother. You 100 percent right. After we had that whole my Alpha 21 documentary that came out talking about how the abortion clinics is in our these so, certain only in certain neighborhoods. 
disguise, the amount of abortion stuff, the stuff about they had a whole long list that just came out five no. years Plan ago. Planned Parenthood was founded by a woman named Margaret Sanger, who was a Klan's woman. She was part of the Klan, but she worked with the Boule, right? One of these members, W. E. B. Du Bois, exactly. worked with him directly to bring abortion clinics to Harlem. You own it, brother. All this before this is like more than a hundred years ago at this point now. Over facts. a century at this point. You own facts. Yo, and that's like see, and that's the same thing we're talking about. While we had all these beautiful entrepreneurs coming up, we had people like the boys with this NAACP. The fact that he had you had Garvey out at this time in the early going into the twenties and all that stuff before the twenties, and he's yep. talking about how we need to be united, be independent, free minds, and go this route for ourselves. We can ship stuff from Africa to here, just basic goods, and be millionaires. The voice is coming out saying, "Nah, we not African. We we starting a national organization for advancement of colored people." I, that's just the craziest thing that was able to, to to pass. But he's the one that got him. Like the voice was that face, like like Oprah or Jay Z type energy. Yep. Everybody follow them. You right though, bro. You be. It's crazy that. though because that the the go back to Africa type of uh, uh, mentality existed before then. They shut that down just to roll that out decades later. Once people are already complacent and they already established their lives here, so nobody's going back to Africa now. But now they want to put that in people's minds just to make them feel disconnected from this country. And it created that because exactly they created it. It did. It absolutely did. And now you got people who's in America never went to Africa and all they care about is Africa and Africa politics, Africa rights. People care yep. about apartheid more than they cared about what was happening here. Facts. <laughs> Facts. Crazy. That was a crazy era we was in with that whole thing. I got caught up in that too. I, I like That's how I'm, I'm speaking from, 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 from experience. Like, if it wasn't for like I think Steve Copley might have been the one too to really awaken me that oh yeah, Copley's like, a man. Some of these people could be the people who I'm looking up to. Like if they not yeah. just politicians, if bro, people, I was amazed when I found out MLK was part of the Boule. I was like, what? <laughs> blew my mind, and it, but it made perfect sense. It made me. so much sense. Everything makes sense once you start recognizing that shit, bro. It makes so much sense. And, and you could tell that he tried, MLK later on, he tried to break out, and that's why they killed him. He was yeah. saying, alright, I don't want to talk about the race. We already, alright, we established the civil rights stuff, yeah. black and white, cool. The real issue is there's 1% of people that control most of the wealth in this country, while the rest of us are, 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 are pretty much uh, struggling. And once he started talking about class and income inequality that's when they took him out because that's when he was really going to bring people together and that would and that's all of this see and that's like i can say this clearly now like that same type of energy like when you say when you see these people go that hard with an organization or something and then they break away same thing with malcolm x it's like that's what my yep. only thing was was like because if you honestly a lot of people who are fans of malcolm x and push it they like to push certain speeches. But when we really think about some of his last speeches, he was saying how, for I knew this for years, I knew this, this. He said a lot of stuff he knew and just was like holding it down until it got too crazy, basically. Yeah. So that's just the truth. And it's like, that's what I'm saying. And that's what I like to do that because even for myself, like I ain't perfect. I don't, I like flaws. I like to be uncomfortable because if we can learn how to fight through that, that's really like, I'm into business and investment and all that. And it's like, that's why I look at investment like as more than just like money in stocks and stuff. Like we invest our time. Like, exactly. That's how I look at it too. I can tell. See, I, I respect that, bro. I can tell. I, that yeah, was and that thing is it goes way deeper than money. You have to invest your time into being productive. You know what I mean? Like all of that is an investment where you put your time and energy in. That's crazy. The thing with Malcolm X too I think Malcolm X got taken out because he started recognizing that uh, the people he was affiliated with, with the uh, um, the Islam, exactly. I think he, he started recognizing that they're in bed with the same people that they claim to be against over here in the United States. Exactly my point. You, and that's what I'm saying. You knew a little bit and then they got comfortable with you and they try to show you too much. And it was like, whoa, that's too much. Yeah. Yeah. And he clearly had an issue with it and they could recognize that. And, and Malcolm X knew his life was on the line. 
and that that man, bro, that's why I say he's. They trying to switch the narrative. I think, but they try to claim, oh no, Malcolm X just a uh, he was he had a problem with them because he he was cheating on his wife or some shit, some some heard, stupid shit like that. I heard some everything too. Yeah, I heard a lot of things about that. You heard? I heard it got the worst one or the craziest one. I guess I say is like they even got to the point and said that he was gay. Like I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely oh, heard that. I definitely heard that. I heard that he was like a. Uh, they started to say that Malcolm X was some type of gay prostitute. But yeah. and I like. So I used to believe that, but I'm, I'm. I think they're just trying to slander that man. Exactly. He did one of one. The reason why I say that too is I laugh it. I laugh at it hard every time now because. I, when I heard that dumb shit, it was when I heard um, it was when I heard about how his overall plans of really was real. It was like supreme unity. It was like whatever Garvey was thinking on steroids. Like you unite in America and Africa, then you are about you unite in different religions, then different. It's like so he was going. He took it to a different direction. So yeah, you're right. It's like. The threat and the knowledge of what that is when he broke away was way too much. But he dropped some gems. Like, he dropped a lot of gems. And it's like, it's a lesson moving forward. Like, listen, once you see bad signs with people, that's how I always took it. If you see something wrong with somebody, no matter how tempting or how much money or whatever, you got to just trust your inst- trust your intuition. That means something. And just, you got to, don't, don't wait to, like, like I said, it's kind of like the same thing I'm saying with your honor. Like, don't wait till you talk, take too much steps where you can't. Like, that's how these people get compromising pictures, as a matter of fact, when you think about it. Yep. You did something weird, you took a drink, they got you, and now you got you got comfortable now for the next 10, 15 years of your life. They're going to keep on blackmailing you with a picture that they never going to even put out because they probably in it too and they don't want to expose themselves. Yeah, they don't expose themselves. It's like a weird little game that they play with them. But it's and, like, and, you know, and in reality, bro, can, can you really. T- all right, so I would respect somebody if they came forward and said, yo, I was at some event and these niggas drugged me and they did this and that to me. And they also have a video and they threatened to put it out, but I'm just going to say it now. These at niggas is nasty. At I would respect it. That's serious. And no joke about that. I put that on everything. I respect that as well. It's not about, that's my, it's not about what you, it's just. Well, I'm a real victim at that point. Exactly. And anybody could be a victim at any time, at any circumstance. So it's like, what you going to do? Just be ashamed and because you got victimized, you're throwing everything away? You can't do that. You can't do that. You're right, bro. Exactly. And, I, and I do respect, and, and I, I mentioned, like, even, like, I mentioned, Malcolm X is like, the way people, like, he's, that, that's the pinnacle for me. Like, as far as he got me out of where I, my mental situation, like, I, I he's the epicenter. Like, that was the first book that I read his autobiography that kind of like led me into consciousness. So I always go back. But my point of bringing him up to is like, even he could fall. And that's why I also bring up your honor. Like I thought, but I want one day, whatever is going on with him, I, I definitely want him to understand, like take his business career and do something with it. Like, bro, um, your honor is hella talented too, yes. man. Hell, yes. I don't know if you heard the brother sing before the dude also got a uh, uh, music where he's rapping. He, this dude is talented, bro. I just know like about his rap. I thought he was nice, Bob, but I didn't know about all that. That's bro, crazy. bro, if you go look up his video where he's singing and playing the piano, bro, this nigga sound like John Legend. That's what I'm talking about, bro. It's he talented. sound like this dude is talented, bro. That that means he probably was he thought it was gonna be an easy way, but that means it's it's definitely it's a route out there for him, and people like that need to be honored, and that's. He doesn't need to be somebody to be looked at as um, you 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 lost now. RB, you don't want you. URL don't want you. You just stuck. You don't. Nah, you got. Yeah, me. yeah. I don't want to kick that brother while he's down at all. Like I think there's a pathway for him. And if we do that at depth, it's gonna make the next person who's in that situation not want to jump up and say something. Exactly. So I'm with you. You right. That's a great point, bro. I, I yo salute to that. And with I, I ask you this because. I don't know. You said what well, you said. The King Lowe's. Did you hear when King Lowe's third round? Yeah, that was real satanic. Yo, I thought it was just me. No, it was real satanic. I, I'm, I'm gonna get the bootleg, and I'm definitely, I definitely gotta cover that. What? I, I'm like this dude said. I'm combining the satanic dominion with our world, and then went into a whole sun worship shit. Like said that out loud. Like I couldn't believe he was saying that shit. <laughs> 
He yeah, he up. said he takes the piece upside down like the Baphomet or, or something. I'm like, this dude, he just he kept going back to back to back with the sat Satanism. I ain't gonna lie. A when I, that's why I was like, damn, when I see ARP get hype about it, I'm like, oh, man. like. Oh, yeah, they love that. They love that shit. That was, it was just like, oh, and it was a few people in the background. I didn't even know. I see, because I was paying attention. Who's reacting to this? Because I wanted to know, first of all, the, the crowd was mad silent for that first, like, Four bars. They didn't even. It went like he's talking about mathematics and all that. And then when he got into it, you could tell whoever was paying attention. They either knew, or they was with it, or they were just like absolutely lost by their facial reaction. So yeah, I thought that was very interesting. I think that's kind of. I don't think that's why, but I feel like I don't know how you think. Like I would love to hear your opinion, but I think I gave ill will three zero. I, I oh like yeah, no, I had Ill Will with the Dirty Thirty, man. Ill Will's one of my favorite battle rappers, though. I, yeah, likewise, exactly. I don't. Yeah, like to me, he's 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 aggressive. He got bars and he's funny. He got like the total package. Believability too. Yeah. Believability facts. Yeah, you right. And the freestyling. Yeah, I was gonna say because you asked me for my top three rebuttalers, right? So we had Chef Trez, Danny Myers, and QP. But you said QP first. And I didn't think about QP. My third one was going to be Ill Will. Oh, you good. You, especially today, I'm so mad Back. that I didn't say Ill Will. You right. Ill Will has to be there. I don't know yes. if you've ever seen his battle against Chef Trez on RBE. That battle, they're both rebuttaling like crazy every single round. That's a great battle to me. You're right. I did. I definitely did. I'm a fan. I, I, I don't remember, besides the Raw, like recently, I don't remember that much Ill Will battles that I think he either – when he didn't completely win, or he even if he took a little loss or jab, he 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 stood tall. So Ill Will is he's one of them total package battles. But he reminded me of Danny Myers. You right with the rebuttals. He rebuttals so much that and he it's don't regular. Say yeah, he don't he don't announce it. It's not like a special move. He just does it. Damn! Now that you just say it, like, didn't he do that today? Like he said it after I think he took yeah. it. Damn, yo, Ill Will got it, bro. You right. Ill will. If it wasn't for Ill Seth will's Seth. like the perfect battler. Like like to me. I think he has like high stats in every category of battle rap. Yes, yes, yes. You're right. It's not it's like that's kind of how I look at Danny Myers too. It's like he one of them rappers like that. Like this what do he don't do? What what don't he do? Like you right, Ill Will is there now. Like and now we're yeah. just like, no wait, Big K. Big K is there now, he, man. Like, I was say, Big K there. Like, he, Big K don't rebuttal though, but I think um, time, but you're right. He don't like consider. I think I think he did it once. Like, like I, I don't. Even he's probably that. done it before. I wouldn't be surprised he's done it before. But you're right, but no, he still he. But he's so good. He don't even really switch up his 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 rhyme schemes and stuff like that. But he's that nice with his written stuff. He, he's direct. His his flow hits. Like it's it, it's not boring to listen to Big K, right? Believability too. He got all Bel that. word word, and, and it's hard for white dudes to have a believability uh believability like that in battle rap. So he yeah, man, Big K, Big K is one of those. Big K is one of those facts, bro. Yeah, and, and, and listen, any way people have it, like if people had murder move winning, that's cool. You know, it was a close battle. It was a close battle, and the fact that it's debatable, the fact that it's debatable, people gonna say Big K won. That's what I say. No, that's my rule too. If you, if it's like that, damn, that's kind of like Swave said, said like that. If it's expected for you to win, and that person puts up a challenge where you can debate if they won, that person automatically won. You got it. exactly. That's right. like when LeBron is favored, favorited to win a final series, but the other team takes it to game seven. LeBron can still win, but people are going to be like, yo, if I had to go to game seven, though, like, <laughs> Jordan fact. never played a game seven in the finals. Like, that's a fact. That's a I like that was a perfect reference, too. Damn. Yo, wait. Did we, I don't even think we said this yet, but or we, or we probably, maybe, I don't know, but the, the, the Charlie Clips thing just jumped up in my mind. Like, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is going to happen with Rosenberg Raw right now? Oh man. <laughs> that was one of the craziest. That was like an Audi boom. It felt like Yeah, it was, bro. It was. It and like you saw Rosenberg's face guy. too. Like Yo, ARP. I tried to take a picture of it. It's, I tried to take a quick screenshot when ARP was looking at it. You could yeah. tell. Oh, that was real. That was real. It was 100% real. Wow. 
And then the audio that he played with the Gucci Gotti spaces, where he, Rosenberg Raw was like, "Listen, man, this is just the image. It's not real. Like this is this is fake. This is just a show. Like I'm not really about that time." <laughs> Yeah, Rosenberg, you died tonight, bro. He died. He died. I, I like. You died tonight. Charles Eclipse was on point every round. Every that was a three zero, and Rosenberg Raw had a crazy. I think his his first or second was fire, but Charlie. No, no, Rosenberg was actually fire. He was actually dope in this battle, but ah uh, man, bro, in battle rap, one round could make you change the outlook of the whole battle, like. Literally. Good with that. That was a good point. Did you see how, or I don't know if it was, if I would, like, let me ask you opinion. So when Charlie Clips did the exposure, Raw went after it, and I never, I don't remember Rose and Blood Raw ever slipping up. He didn't choke. Right? Yeah, he was, he was stumbling through his round, yo. Yep. Yeah. I, I, and you never do that. Okay, thank you. You just confirmed it then. Because I'm like, is it just me? I've never seen The him only time that. I've ever seen him stumble like that was in the KOTD tournament. But that's when they were battling like once every week or something like that. And he doesn't usually do that. So Exactly. Nah, yeah, that boy. Yeah, the Philly, like, I don't, I'm not going to say all Philly rappers. Of course not. But like the ones who on it like that, I, they definitely don't. They, they seem like they practice so much and spar. They, they take that like boxing. They don't, they, they take that serious. But. I, that's what yeah, I'm trying to think right now. Philly dudes, do they be e Enas don't be choking. No. Yeah, he don't. No. Nah. They don't. He Enas is another one. I I'm proud. I got I a lot of love. Enos. I got a lot of love for Enas right now. I got mad love for Enas because I've just been watching Battle Rap for too long to not have love for Enas, you know? Like, exactly. Enas never get I, I think he should get more plates. Yes, yes. And he really He's he's actually gonna put he's gonna take a lot of people down. It ain't like gonna be no easy loss either. Or no yeah. easy little, like he's some little washed up thing. But yeah, that's we just had a battle, I think it was last year, maybe a year before that against Reed, and it was a it was dope. Yo, Enes showed up, man. Like I, I don't know why Enes is not on one of these divide and conquer cards. Hey, yeah, that's a good that's actually a good question. That's a very good question. He's gonna have to be on what like that was back to back without Enes, and he would have just added energy. Yeah, his energy is un. I, we need that. But I like the Philly rappers. Like they got that. They like the, the reason I say that. That's why I'm like, I think Rosenberg Raw just got. He got so thrown off by that. And it's when Charlie Clip said, "If he battles in RBE again, I'm not coming back." I think that fucked up Rosenberg. Yeah, I scared him. I think he got scared. <laughs> <laughs> that was the line. I'm like, oh no, it's. That fucked them up. That fucked them up. Oh, man. Who you think he was talking to trying to get on URL? Because uh, Clips ain't say the name. I know. I I mean. I would think it's P. Yeah. That's the only thing I was. I think. But I think it's P as a liaison. I mean, yeah, we, of course, I think that, that was obvious. I think. Yeah, he was being like, I'm you're gonna be the bridge and use this person to buffer so it won't be no exposure with no text messages. I think Oh was, maybe, yeah, yeah. He's probably talking to texting somebody else to text P or whatever, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Especially after that stuff what happened with ARP with the um Beasley thing. I think they like cause that's how these people work. They go to they do extra security. They don't change. They just make it more seem like they're not doing it anymore. Like black compass, like you like they it's no way that they not they didn't boot like this. I mean, not no disrespect to them, but if that's what you was doing and profiting from, you're not going to just stop it. You're just going to figure out a way to do it without getting caught now. Exactly. You're still going to have all those people hitting you up, expecting to do what y'all been doing for years. Is this a fact, bro? Still trying to give them money, so they're not going to turn down the money. They're just going to find another way to do it. Facts. That was another set of idiots, though. Like, And I just got to say a strike like that. All they had to do from the beginning was stop it, apologize, it was not the, as serious as it became. It was not. It didn't need to go as as. It's, as you can see, it's gonna keep getting bad. Yeah, they don't seem like they reconciling that. But yeah, though. But like the um, yeah, it's so much e. That's that's the thing with energy too, man. And this is, it's so much easier to just be honest. Exactly. And people can feel how they feel, but at least you're honest. So it's like you don't have to keep following up once you already told the truth. Yo. You're like, listen, yes, we did this. Yes, we recognize we're wrong. Um, it is what it is. We're sorry. Oh, that's it. That's real talk, bro. That's it. It's so easy, man. That's my that's the type of message I'm about to. It's I agree. 
And it's like, I'd say that too with personally, with family and all that too. Like that's kind of how I learned this. It's not that, it was like, wait, we are gonna go through years not talking, we, we only see each other at funerals and all it was was one conversation. And we just had to just, come on, like, real talk, bro. Like, yeah, yeah bro. Facts. Yo, so what, what you got coming up? What, what, what you uh, working on? I mean, I'm you, you working with um, Yo-Yo um, card, right? With oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For that, for that June 7th, yeah, never forget, too. It's so it, what is that? How is that? I've been thinking like uh, I seen your name on the um on the last card or whatever when it, when it had all, like jewels and everything like so are you is this are you running are you work is this part of like your thing? Oh no no no! I'm just supporting I'm supporting Yo Yo man. I'm just supporting Blake because I I think yo, he's so talented, bro. Like and, uh, the shit that he be doing and the, the 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 roster he got over there at the Word Sport like with the virtual battle rap, I think it's dope. Yes. So you know. Uh, we know a lot of these leagues are corrupted with these weird politics, so it's like, why not create something else where these dudes could display their talents? You know what I'm saying? Exactly. That's what I thought. I, I, I'm now you told me that. I'll tell you what I thought. You was like working on getting HB2 in. Shout out to HB2 in too. Like, I, that's oh man, I would love if we had HB to battle, man. <laughs> no, he's, I, he's interested, man, but yeah, I don't was, know. I don't know. He's, I, I, I like, whether he gonna battle, I'm like, I was like, I wanna see him battle, or that's somebody I gotta make, we gonna have to make a track one day, like, that's my type of rapper, like. Yeah, yeah, HB is, HB is nasty, yeah. HB is nice with it. The with the way that he be writing shit that's funny, also insightful and hard at the same time, it's just, it, it's dope. And he be on, like, the culture, he mix exact, infuses all that perfectly, but then, I don't know whoever's doing the editing, if he's doing it or you doing it. Oh, he's Yo. doing it. Yeah, he he does his own shit. He creates the videos himself. Yo, hey, okay, no, he gets another salute too, cause that's I'm like the edits. It go, it's it, it goes I'm, perfect. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be, I'll be. It's to the point now. I'll be trying to predict the ball from the from the. All right, let me see the picture now. What's going on? What he about to get into? Yeah, but I feel bad sometimes because I feel like he would get so much credit, much much more credit in the culture if he wasn't associated with my channel. Because he really covers everything that happens in battle rap with his shit, you know? Yeah, yeah. But nobody wants to acknowledge it because he's connected with me. And that's what I think is they they making a dangerous game by doing that. Like, the more you, you're going to try to alienate somebody, you, you, you're you cutting your own knee off by missing talent. But that's not going to stop somebody. Well, then you go, if, if, if that, like, I, I hope, I'm going to tell you, you know what's funny? That happened to me already too. Like I just I don't I don't talk about stuff like that because I don't care. The second that I put up the image of you on my Twitter, mad battle rappers and stuff just stop following me and never re like yep. never got blocked at all. And I I'm like damn, but it made it's you crazy. Realize, yeah, if it, it's like I don't I didn't want y'all anyway. Like what you you wasn't doing anything for me. I'm not somebody. I'm not a groupie. I don't like no person on the planet is gonna make me feel like. You're holding it in down, or I need your energy. Like it, it's everybody can be replaceable. You rock with who you rock with, like minds, like energy. So well, you know, uh, when the the MBS dude did the interview on my channel, you know, the one that that came out and said that Beasley right. offered him the money, whatever. Exactly. When, when when he announced that he was doing the interview on my channel, ARP was trying to block the interview. Damn. Yeah, ARP was hating like crazy. It, it, it's weird what that nigga be doing for some reason, man. Wait, so bro, you was you was I thought you was joking. I'm you about to make me laugh more right now. I, <laughs> I heard you earlier this morning when I was listening to your channel. I was listening to your live. I think no, I was being dead serious. You would, oh, because you know about the action there. Because you said yeah, he said personally like yo that oh I'm, I I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm glad I didn't know that. I probably would have missed this card. Yeah, I'm man, it makes it, it makes I I I find it very hard to support uh, RBE. Not only with shit like that, but you know he also lied for Chris Unbiased. He lied about his whole case when he was rolling out the red carpet for him back in 2020. Um, uh, it, it's just nasty stuff what ARP be doing. Man, I don't, I don't have a lot of respect for that dude. I used to though. I used to have mad respect for RBE when I first started my channel. I was saying that RBE is a independent black owned business and it's disgusting what URL does to them. You yes. know what I mean? Yes. I think it's disgusting. But the fact that I'm saying this, but yet ARP is still trying to blackball my channel, still going against me, like it's just weird to me. That I'm, I'm like, you must be part of the system then. You must be. Because why would you go against somebody who's claiming you're an independent black owned business? Yeah, bro. That's and that's telling people to support you. 
don't make no fucking sense. And especially in the era we are where entrepreneurship, that's all they talk about. I'm the boss, I'm the boss, this the boss, boss. Yeah. You talking straight boss energy and that's going to be, damn. And like, I mean, I heard, I, honestly, the one of those avocado blogs, when the, the whole pyramid stuff, when I started to see that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He admitted it, yeah. And I'm like, yo, I don't. Ha and let me tell. I'm somebody. Look, I got the. I got. I'm. I'm. Oh, that's I. The stone. See, I. It's two things. First of all, the brotherhood thing. Like, I, that's my team. That's my thing. Like, as a head of that. And I. That's been since like my first mixtape. Where, yeah, whatever up there, somewhere up there. I don't know if they even could be seen. But you kind of see it right there, the B hood. But yeah. my first shit was back before I even really got into, like, before I even met Cortez. Like, I don't mean, and it's not a shout out Cortez or anything like that. I don't know officially. I know that he's rumored to be with the Brotherhood and all that stuff. But, yeah, yeah, he is. So when I heard about all that, and I really, I'm like, ain't no way y'all could be these tough battle rappers at first, and it could be anything else but some just regular click. But then that interview when Hit Me How said it's more than just a crew. I was like, whoa. As, hey, he said it has nothing to do with battle rap. Yeah, I'm like, bro, if it's brotherhood, like, who's the brother then? Exactly. What hood are y'all talking about? So y'all got, you got a deeper meaning to something as simple as brotherhood, fellowship? And then Hitman said it, uh, it didn't start off as a secret society, but it became one. Oh, shit. Like, what do you mean by that? Like, And I just, I, it's like, see, this is, this is part of my nature. I think I'm learning something right now. I can't cut this energy off because I just did a whole campaign bags and bodies and that's like I, that's a lot i did too man i did too and but he's doing some nasty stuff on that show too i don't know if you saw that he had j2 uh on the show wearing a sh wearing a shirt promoting transgender kids that's worth to me bro until you, i i'm a, i got bags and bodies i already did a year of subscription so i'm, I'm really me too I, I did the year subscription that's crazy <laughs> i did the year subscription yeah, yeah. Hey, if I did it, I wish I did months and months because I would have canceled the shit once I saw that. I swear, that's worth to me. I ain't gonna lie with it too. I I keep it a buck. Right, I told my partner that same thing. It's no way you you just stopped after the fourth episode and we just got stuck. I'm like, yeah, I was. Yeah, that's crazy to me. That's crazy. And, and there's people that still paying months and months, and there's nothing dropping. Damn. Yeah, that is that's sick. And then when you saw that picture, you see another good day New America, good day New York, and then that bandana. That's what I'm gonna say. That. That breakdown was the one. I'm like, oh no, like, like, and that's and that's the thing. I don't have any. Let me tell you. I'll say it straight up. I don't have an issue. I'm a teacher. 15 years in New York City. I had a lot of uh, LGBT um, um students, and I actually still do. Of course, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, man, we in America, bro. Like, whatever. Like, it's my I just don't know why it has to be part of a curriculum that we're teaching the kids. That's my thing. The kids. That's not something for you. Got, if you if you over eighteen, do your thing. Who Just like you? I don't, I don't think we should be teaching about heterosexual sex to kindergartners. Like what the hell? It's so it's not bigotry. I'm being consistent. Like that, bro. Like Just like that. I don't want a drag queens at the kindergarten. I don't want strippers there. I don't want go go dancers there. Exactly, bro. Shit, I'm so I might be a little too conservative. I don't even want belly dancers there. The fuck is you talking about? Like, exactly. this is not appropriate for kids. Exactly, bro. That's facts. That's absolutely facts. And that's the type of stuff that leads you into like that Dalai Lama energy, where you keep on accepting little little things that's going on, and it's like, wait, how far are y'all gonna take it? Like, what are you gonna let this man, these people do to y'all? You keep accepting these little inches, and then you got a whole mile to deal with. Exactly. Yeah, but now I, I seen that when I seen the show, I seen that the thing about the um transgender. Otherwise, the kids or something like yeah, so like protect trans kids, which is a which is a, a political statement claiming to be against the states that are banning the sex surgeries for minors. And that's the when not when you break it down. See, that's when it gets to agenda talk, bro. You right? That's this. That's nasty work. That's nasty work. And then, and this is why I got to criticize Hitman because the, people are gonna be like, oh well. J2 just wore the shirt. How can Hitman control that? What do you mean, how can Hitman control that? It's his show. Because if somebody came in there wearing a MAGA hat, I bet he wouldn't let them wear that shit. Ooh, that he'll, say, he'll say, listen, he, I'm, even, even if we give Hitman a benefit of the doubt that he's like, he's like, listen, I don't have a problem with you, you know, supporting what you support. I just don't want you to make my show political. 
That's all. But, but he couldn't do that with the J2 shit? Get out of here, man. Facts. That. What if we would, we in the crib and we come up here with a Steve Coakley and Malcolm X shirt and, and we on national TV, they wouldn't, or we say something like Malcolm X is the greatest or something like that. They wouldn't probably, if I couldn't do that in a school, pretty sure I wouldn't be able to do that on TV like that. And it's like, yeah, depending on the show and everything, of course, exactly, of course not. Exactly. So it's like, yeah, and it it's like they, they pick and choose these type of things just for those reasons. And it's to the point where, you see, when we dealing with agendas, like that could have literally been given to him to wear, and like that's how serious that. That is. that that's what that's another thought too. Like, what if the people behind the show with him, man, told him to wear the shirt? You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of questions now with that shit. That's what, and that's when it gets. Well, that's what I'm saying. When you you taking it to a political thing instead of just leaving it alone for your, that's your, you want to do it your like life? leave it alone and keep it battle rap that, that's what these companies and it, uh, I don't know if you've seen everything that's happening with Bud Light <laughs> is exactly. it, this is teaching these companies stay the fuck out of politics no rightfully so these- what's crazy about the Bud Light you have all the conservatives protesting it but what's crazy now since Bud Light is kind of like walking back now the gay people are all protesting it so they got both sides True. they got both sides protesting them they're done and they did absolutely <laughs> deserve it for playing they, that yes they do game. you deserve every single ounce of it I'm dead serious about that I love businesses and entrepreneurship or whatever franchises but you do dumb shit like that and you put politics it's the stupidest thing to even do. You you alienate your 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 clientele. That's why we uh, Michael Jordan gets so much criticism from the left because of the statement that he made back in the eighties when they were like they wanted him to protest against some Republican governor or mayor of Chicago, and he was like, "Man, I'm not doing that." Listen, Republicans buy sneakers too. Real. That was the smartest thing that man ever said, and now he's a fucking billionaire off of Jordans. How fast will he have got a kid? You gotta play, you gotta learn some type of intelligent moves to make. We in a society like this, like like Babylon. Because why would why would me destroying my own business and alienating alienating half of these potential clients, how is that gonna benefit the black economy? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's absolutely not. It's absolutely not. And if you, you know what though? That's probably right when he started to get all the, that's like probably when he had to leave and all that type of shit. Like, see that? It's now that you, I'm thinking a lot of shit, right? Yeah. And I always said, it's either the his pops thing. If you can't tell me, you can't be at the height of this thing and then you're just going to leave for two years. Something was behind that. Some people say he was ducking Hakeem, but <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Hakeem was the man, though. I ain't gonna lie. Dude, I don't think Jordan had an answer for Hakeem, man. I don't know, man. That's my favorite center. Yeah, Hakeem. Hakeem is a... Yeah, yeah. You have him over Shaq? Yeah. Huh? I like him. You have, you I have like, him over Shaq? I liked him. I don't think... I think that Hakeem is more skilled. I think Shaq is way more dominant, though. That's a fact, yeah. That's how I looked at it. Because I played center, too. And, and so he was like my... I went from I went from focusing on Jordan to Hakeem like right when right when I went to junior high school he was like my I, every move he did I literally was like idolizing him so like, this that's is what's crazy thing. though Shaq is more dominant so you're you're gonna be more successful with Shaq running over regular players in the NBA but if Shaq and Wilt go one on one I'm not Wilt uh, uh, Hakeem Hakeem is giving Shaq that work that's in the post he's giving him that work in the post. That's okay. Period. Shaq won't even know what to do with him. Because you know, like when when uh, the Lakers were going against the Spurs, Shaq didn't have an answer for Tim Duncan. Yeah, you can, he, a skill. It was Kobe. Kobe had to bring those uh, beat the Spurs. It had to be Kobe because he Shaq wasn't doing nothing against Duncan. Yeah, yeah, you know your yeah, history. Yeah, that was an error right there. Exactly, that was a chess move right there. That was right. going on. It was like certain series. That way, Kobe was dominant, had to be the, had to take control, then Shaq had to take control. That's why I hate that talk about Shaq carrying Kobe because Shaq wouldn't even get to the finals past the Spurs if it wasn't for Kobe. Yeah, you that's the straight true, bro. Absolutely. Oh man, they disrespect the hell out of Kobe for some reason, man. I think same thing when somebody is is like he's a like even as the name Black Mambo, like when you got these people who headstrong and whatever they stand, they people who really just stand on whatever they're about. It's like they just want to... They want to slander them. 
Yeah, that's they it. They want to destroy them, especially Kobe being a brilliant man. Bro, this nigga spoke like five, six languages. Fire, yeah. Kobe was brilliant. You know what I mean? They don't want those to be like people anybody looks up to. They want to just, they try to slander Kobe back. Oh, you just reminded me too. Damn, did he just got into like filming and animation or something like that, right? He did like. Yeah, he won a, did he win an Oscar? Yeah. Or an Emmy? Come on. I think it, he won an Oscar that for his short was, film. Yep. Yeah. That was straight talented. So he's about to take over another thing. He had the whole female league he had with his. He team. also had like a series on YouTube where he was breaking down the plays of the game, and he had one of the bro. I used to watch it re religiously. Genius. He genius. was genius breaking down these plays, man. I know, yeah yeah I know exactly what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, and, and it's it's um. It was the first you got to see how intense it like that's how he's breaking down these games before he played with these players. Like he's knowing everything with the weaknesses, the skills, with the practice on, who's not working, who's improving. That was a robot. Like let's be real, man. The league blocked that Chris Paul trade, man. If Chris Paul and, and his prime with Kobe and Dwight Howard. Oh, yes, exactly. Oh, my God. Because they had Steve Nash, but Steve Nash didn't play for two years. This dude, he just pretty much didn't play. He was like, done. He just collected a check. Bro, Chris Paul, Kobe, and Dwight would have been insane. Insane is the word, bro. You just, that, I just, my heart just felt that for Chris Paul, too. I thought this was going to be his year. I ain't going to lie. All last couple of months. It's like, there's no, the Suns looked like they would had it, and then he just got injured, I heard. Like, this morning, I heard he got injured in the last, one of the last games. Yeah, yeah, he was in, he didn't play, but they won that last game. They looked okay. a little faster without Chris Paul. Oh. Yeah, it's actually interesting. They, they actually look better without Chris Paul. Because uh, Chris Paul, he, he slows up the game, so he allows the other team to get back on defense. Now, with this, uh, the dude they running now, it's just... Once they get the ball, they out. They're already on the other side of the court. They're not even waiting for the Nuggets to uh, set up their defense or anything. They 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 killing like that. You got me hype. I'm back on it then. I got to Yeah, yeah, they just won their last game. <laughs> Running gun in basketball is the most exciting when it's like that. Yeah, yeah, playoff basketball. I, I love this shit, man. So what about Even though we're here to talk about it being rigged, and, and I, I think there's a lot of truth to that as well, but I just enjoy the game at the face value. Exactly. I mean, like, that's kind of how I, yeah, you just said it. That's how I look at battle rap, too. Like, I got it. I can't exactly. come into it with anything else. And I, I'm going to be, you know what's funny, too? I didn't know. Yeah, this sound, every, now I'm about to say this sound mad stupid, but I didn't really understand how deep King Los was. I didn't know he had a house on the hill. I didn't really know all that. Like, I kind of. Oh, found yeah. Out he was there. Sound of Diddy. I didn't know he was sounding. Diddy. But I, I thought he was just like, I mean, but yeah, if you around Diddy, then. Yeah, he was he was signed to Bad Boy. He was uh he was signed around that same time French Montana and them was signed. Oh, you mean he was signed since back then? Yeah, yeah, he was on that song. Uh, you remember that song? Uh, tell that bitch, give me head. Ocho Cinco. Remember that? It was like Diddy French, and it was King Los. King Los, I definitely did it. So that that's what it was. And I must have, I didn't. It wasn't something I, I didn't buy. King Los really. wasn't big like that. He was just there, kind of thing. You know what I mean? But uh. King Lowe's, he he was he was had a little buzz on Bad Boy for maybe like a year, but that was it. So he so it's just uh, yeah. I mean, I don't got. I'm not going to ask no questions. I know the answer already. He was also defending Brother Polite, um, raping that 14 year old girl. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's First why I can't have any respect for King Lowe's. I you see, i and my stomach is literally turning right now because one of the reasons why I put the thing on is because I'm doing this Malcolm X month, and I wanted to make sure I'm doing more like. I, like I, I stopped being, I stopped blogging on conscious things because my accounts, like literally, like I said before the whole situation, it got, it got, I got kicked off so much. I'm like, I was trying to like manage that, but this whole month is dedicated. I ain't trying to get like same issues. I don't want no, no issues, but I want to have conscious conversations. And I was like, King Los is definitely gonna come with some Malcolm X energy. And when he said that Baphomet thing, I was like, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, he, he, he's very much into that, uh, that, that, that little satanic yeah. cult that, 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 that exists in the conscious community with uh, Sonetta and Brother Polite in them. Oh, so you understand that, yeah. See, oh, yeah, for sure. I, I definitely, I'm in tune with all that. You know how much people I try to sign that up? Sonetta's a mason. He's one of the worst. I, yeah, I, I, he, he's one of the worst. He's actually, I don't know if you know this, uh, look up Sonetta and the URL. 
Yeah, they, they, they would they were partnered together. Sonetta had a whole show where he would go to the events and he would interview these battle rappers and pretty much debate them about God and trying to make them disconnect from their beliefs. That's a fact. Yeah, yeah. They they have a whole they had a whole little partnership for a little while. Uh, he he would love to go up to like the so called Christian battle rappers and really press them like uh, street hymns. There's one thing where where he's going back and forth with street hymns. You know what you just did now. Now we're gonna premiere something. I literally, I wrote, I have a diss track on Sonetta for years ago, and I only didn't put it out, <laughs> bro. I'm and I didn't put it out for years because I got well. See, I got personal. Not that I um, I used to run with that. Like I was, I'm, I'm part of the conscious community in whatever type of way. Like when I was younger, like I told you, I was raised around that type of stuff. So like the DVD era, like I'm probably on some. I'm probably I'm definitely in some of them DVDs. Like as a person yep. now. So I seen personally like the, I guess we could call it like the um, I'm trying to find this spot. It's like the slow pro downhill progression up sign another, and yeah. it started out by him first of all with the simplest thing. He was just showing like the weirdest stupidity that I could imagine. I didn't understand how you have all this stuff and you seeming dumb. Like they, they all around that shit, man. They all around it. I don't know if you just heard the uh the young Pharaoh dude. He said he got he was drugged and raped by Lil Dirk or something. They all in those same circles, man. No, that's disgusting. It's not well, I mean they got Oh no no he didn't say he was he said when he was around Lil Dirk, he got drugged and then something happened to him after the fact. He don't know who exactly who did it to him, whatever. Damn. Oh, wait a minute. I did you know hear, Young Pharaoh. Yeah, I did hear Young Pharaoh actually saying something recently. Like it was, yep. like, it, he caught what he, and then he talked about something like somebody tried to uh, rob him or kill him or. Yeah, that, and that you could tell that dude is not even there in his head anymore. That dude used to actually be real sharp. I don't know what, but they 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 gave him some type of drugs, and he's just he's been fucked up ever since. All right, I can't find this thing right now. You one hundred percent, but um, let me look at one more file. There we go. I know I got this thing. I, I I did a whole video for it. It's called Sweet. It's 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 off of um the J Cole um what's the name of that fucking beat? The Wet Dreams beat. Oh yeah yeah yeah. All right, I'm about to play this like that. Right, this is gonna be a little banger to end off. We gonna end this off with. I know you 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 helped, bro. I ain't gonna lie. This was like uh this is one of them. Nah, I'm tuned in, bro. I appreciate you, bro. I, I definitely do. Let me get this thing real quick now. Where is this one more? Just one of my. I knew I should, and I. It's like I didn't. It's kind of like when I first heard about my um, Martin Luther King. I'm like, so much people rock with him. I'm tired of the debates and arguing. I be trying to put people on for years, and it's like, all you want to do is fight and argue. Like I'm trying to help you with information. I just leave. Nah, it. I don't know why they want to fight and argue, bro. Like again, the people they worship the messenger versus the message. Like we could all respect and and, and appreciate the the message that was put out by Martin Luther King. But at the end of the day, the dude was part of some type of psyop. He he was part of the boule. That's all I be saying. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put my memory card in my phone because ain't no way I'm gonna miss this. They found that the the CIA like bugged his entire church that he used to do yeah. sermons in. See, and that's what I'm talking about. That's how they do it. You keeping your they they acting like they rocking with them, and then doing all type of crazy stuff like that behind the background. And that's what I'm saying. Like, when the last they say his his last speech was "I had a dream," and that, that the name of the actual speech when he wrote it was "Normalcy Never Again" because he's talking about how yeah we can't go back to that shit. It's not about no integration segregation like how you were saying earlier. Thanks. That's what he was preaching. Like, yeah, man, that's just a, that's a whole messed up little situation. And I, and I appreciate him preaching that because there was a lot of people that were because uh, uh, I I, see, I know a lot of debate saying that oh we should probably should have stayed segregated but i just don't believe that's right like i just i don't know i don't think that's right man like, listen but if you, you let, like exactly like how we we gotta learn from each other and what there's not even any like we all none of us are white none of us are black we all are exactly brown literally so it's like a whole propaganda thing just to even um that's another thing with the conscious side they, they really they they really like to talk about the eugenics man and i just i i don't i don't subscribe to that shit man yeah talking about oh white people are, are in the end they're not human like oh my like, bro, bro first of all if you look through your lineage you probably have some type of white in you yourself nigga you're probably in the neanderthal yourself motherfucker like absolutely though yeah exactly
absolutely. And it's like, what, what do you, how much stuff, how much stuff do we get from, from these different cultures though? It's like, we don't, I, I don't understand why that's not understood ever. Like I learn, I get so much, um, like the instance, like, okay, for instance, if we just spoke about today, Murder Mook is looked at as this major energy in battle rap, unstoppable for us top tier. And then Big K is this guy who's white, and he even made it in that round where he's like, you can't even take nigga, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. But that didn't stop. Wait, is my computer frozen? You can hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Oh, I thought, all right, I'm trying to pull up this file in my memory. That's why. All right. Nah, but it's like we would take away the energy of that with that racism. Like, there's not, it's, we just kind of handpick and putting ourselves in a box with that whole dumb shit. I never. Oh, I'm never, sure, I'm sure once we start seeing these recaps for the battle tomorrow, there's, there's going to be a lot of talk on race. And it's just, I don't know, man. It might go, and it, it, I definitely don't feel like, yeah, because people, you know, Mook got the dick riders, though, too. Like, just to be that's honest. That's exactly. So that's what's gonna happen automatically, and he definitely did good. So, yeah, he did good. Yeah, this was his best one. I actually think this was. Be- I think this is better than Gucci. Oh well. yeah, now I didn't. I, all right, so this is an unpopular opinion. I don't. I didn't like Mook against Gucci like that. You think he lost? I, I mean, no, I, no, I don't think he lost. I don't exactly. think he lost. He did not lose. He won convincingly. I just think he was so much better in the Tay Rock battle. I oh I like the Tay Rock battle way better. I, ain't going I, I think that's like Mook's best battle. Period. That was oh yeah exactly. That was his best for me. Like th- that's what I thought until no that was his. That's still his best to me overall. His second round though for this one was for me. Like that was where oh yeah now nah, this is one of the best Mooks. Yeah it is. That's what I, yeah. But we we got Big K. But that's why we got to show Big K some respect, man. Because he listen. You you think Mook won? I believe Big K won. I I'm actually been looking around. The consensus is actually Big K won. Oh shit! That's- and I'm kind of surprised by that. I'm seeing that everywhere. People, everyone's saying Big K won. I ain't gonna lie to you. I am. That is, I definitely wasn't expecting to hear that either. Like I can't. Even- fact, I did not think that was gonna be the consensus. But also, we also have to keep just like Mook got dick riders. He also got a lot of haters too. Oh yeah, Mook got a lot of haters. That's a very good point. You 100% fact about that. You 100% fact about that. So they probably, a lot of people probably put a little extra spice on it. <laughs> Not for nothing. <laughs> you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I can't, yeah. Well, now that that's being said, though, it's going to be something where he pro- they kind of going to have to drop this on you. And that's probably part of your Mook contract. Too, oh, probably- yeah. When this drops on YouTube, oh, man. I, Big K stock is is up there though. Like I, it's nothing to debate about that. His stock is up. No matter, they're gonna probably try to come at him with like the race thing, like you said. But it's he he made a perfect point. I think his angle back about Mook. That's why I think overall, when I watch the replay, I feel like I'm gonna give it to Big K too. To be honest, because the way Big K also neutralized his whole third round on the race angle exactly. with him bringing up the podcast Ooh. with the white girl. Saying that, and he was saying, "Yeah, white people can say the uh, nigga too. They can say that word or whatever they want. I don't care." But then in this battle, he was trying to act like. Remember, he was saying, "I ain't calling him no street nigga because he can't even say nigga." Like, bro, <laughs> it, hit. it hit. It did hit. When he it said. hit, man. It neutralized a lot of shit from his battle. Like, Facts. that's a fact. That's what a I- lot of things with battle rap too. Battle rap is so it, it's so hard to judge because. I know a lot of people like to judge it first round against first round, second round against second round, but really it's an entire package. You know battle rap, right? It's an entire package because if you're neutralizing things in your third round that the dude said in his first and second round, you can't just ignore that. Exactly. And that's why I say Charlie Clips. If you, if that was, you just right in my mind was... Yo, I thought Charlie Clips neutralized Rosenberg Raw when he did the, all he gonna say is the blah, 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 and then a famous football player name. Yeah, yeah, he killed it because I think Rosenberg did it in the third round too. <laughs> Yo, I went, for, and you just see Charlie Clips over there just nodding his head laughing like he knows. Yep, he yep. It. And also, I think Rosenberg had, like, you know, some little shit in his first round talking about how he's RBE, you know, like, he's over here on RBE with the bricks, like, you know, he's standing on what's real, whatever. Then in that third round, it comes that way. You were trying to be on URL. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> Yo, now I'm thinking about it. That's gonna be the what that and the. They're gonna look nasty on camera, I think. Because they're gonna go back and replay all of that. You just said you're right. I remember that. He mm -hmm. that's how he always is. But yeah, yeah. So he's always doing. He's been he's been repping RBE heavy. That's why it looks like that's what I said in my last live too. Like it's either this guy might like. So is he, if if he's really if this is all let's because it's still a legend until we see it yeah yeah it's still a legend but if it is they don't seem a legend though from ARP reaction and how Rosenberg reacted it don't seem a legend but yeah we got to keep it up because now I forgot about that both of them reacted a certain way that it, you're right facts with that being said yo he's a straight up informant then like he's working with them that ain't no just you literally are giving information and like hey this is who's battling here. Like, did, Clip said something I didn't understand, but he was like, yo, how do I know about the fact that Raw battle got pushed back? Somebody battled with Raw got pushed back until November or Raw and Shep? He said something. I was like, oh, shit. And then, yeah, I mean, I, I guess that was the whole battle or whatever, like the screenshot. So it's like you you giving them specific information about business? Yeah, about about how, how ARP is conducting the league and what's get scheduled, uh, dates, dates on certain events. Because, you know, URL likes to do their events or they'll premiere something on the same day. Drop a card, exactly. Do something. Yep. Yeah. Damn, that's yeah, crazy. man. I don't know. I don't know. Rosenberg's looking a little shaky. It is. It, it, it is a very, very shaky ground. The good thing about Rosenberg that is a I don't see no debate about this. Somebody's going. He's a talent that's going to get picked up. It's like, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. You going to get picked up by somebody, but if you going to have to either a lot of these dudes, man. If K if KOTD was still up and running, there would be a lot more bags available for a lot of these guys. You ain't lying. That's that's yeah. The, it's it's kind of sad what's going on with KOTD. Oh, that's the bro, Rich, right there. That's my partner, Rich. Yeah, shout out, Rich, and from India. I hear you. What is it like? Eleven o'clock right now. <laughs> Yeah, that's the boy right here. That's the other side of Ronnie and Kevin recaps. Yeah, you already know, Brits. Like, and you see the background and all that. You like, I was, I just come off from being sick, but it's like I ain't give up. Like, I'm like, yo, adapt. Like, we, I, we talking about you know what that already. Like, the energy and how the blogs you putting out. Like, this is the type of vibe too. And it's like I like the even the fact that you said that people are, are because you you following them. Like, they they shunning other people. Like, I like I, let me know who you are from the beginning. Like. I rock with a depth. If there's a problem there, I'm making a little short about this. Like, unsubscribe to me right now. Don't rock with me right now. I'll do my own thing. Like, I do not need anybody. Like, I got a whole phases of shit I'm doing. I'm playing chess right now. So I ain't dealing with none of that dumb shit. Like, and I play chess where, to make that clear, because a lot of people play chess and it's like, they play manipulation games. No, I like the other, like, positive manipulation. Like, I'm going to... In all of my movies, I'll say it now, movies, cartoons, any blog, no matter what I'm talking about, I'm going to drop some type of science or consciousness in it and try to, like, not try to push anything, but to just help out. So that's the type of chess I that, That's the way I do it, too, with my battle rap blogs. Like, you know, I start off, I, I get the people, I want to talk about battle rap because there's a common interest, but at the same time, all right, cool, let, let's, maybe you never heard about this information, though. Let's talk about this. Let's bring up this. You, you know, it's bad. And, and and sometimes using the battle rappers as an example to talk about a bigger point, it hits harder amongst you know, uh, you know this community because we all enjoy the same thing. We know about the battle rap politics, and it, it's it's very interesting when you relate it to real life topics. Yeah, you got a mind, bro. That's that's genius. You're right. I didn't even really think about it a hundred percent like that. Like, I that's kind of one of my concepts. I was thinking overall, but it is it, it's a it because I. It is it's something that is easily to relate to with a snap. Something that if you just do the facts out, it'll just be like pasta on the wall. But it's something that somebody's already interested in. Now, hey, this relates to this. It's That's what here. Smack used to be about, man. Smack stood for streets, music, art, culture, and knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be the last time that knowledge been part of that shit. You right. <laughs> facts. <laughs> that shit been like it was banging on, on goddamn... Um, it didn't want to put no CK like it was it was gang banging, alphabet banging like type of shit. S M A C straight up, fucking hilarious. They were like, "Damn, we got to think of something for this K." Fuck it, throw in knowledge. <laughs> 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 On those DVDs, these dudes was packing guns and talking about nothing but violence, but they got knowledge. 
<laughs> write this island story. <laughs> who was the man back in the day? Who had the drugs back in the day? Yeah, yeah, knowledge, knowledge, right. right. Yo, and that's crazy. I forgot. I, I couldn't, like, I'm having, I don't know what's going on with my memory file right now, but I don't want to make any extra to our live stream. So, like, I just stopped. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something next time. I'm going to um, probably just shoot you a um, shoot you a message or whatever. I want to definitely, because I, I know you know hip hop. So, to hear your thing, and you know about, a lot of people don't even know about Sinetta. That's why they want to waste my time putting it out there anyway, too. But it's about Sinetta and Pop Polite. And when you just said that shit, I'm like, wait, King Los was defended? Like, Polite been known to be. Uh, even before the whole thing, he with the allegations, like yeah, he was, remember he was defending uh, Doctor York. He said he could molest millions of child children. That'll still be his god. He was like a known, like he, right from the, his first. Debate. You know, um, uh, Twenty One Savage. He was part of Doctor York's cult. Oh. Twenty One Savage's mother was part of the cult. There's actually pictures of him as a kid, like over, uh, like around that. Yo, and for, so when you see that, I'm you the man, bro. You you got some, you got the insight. Cause when I say it to myself, like I say it up front from the beginning, like, listen, this is people, I got a lot of knowledge from this, but if you still rocking with that and you ain't talking about it or something, I think there's something to that. Cause like what what do you you know there's still people who follow that shit? Exactly. So and it's like I, I don't understand. Like it, it came out. Like it's not like Twenty One Savage put the information out himself. They they had the old pictures of, like of his family. They were all there. So that connected to, and they're big. You know about you know about um Malik. I think it's Malik York. Or Malik. Yeah, Malik York. Um, his son, who was who's who, who's camera manager. You know about him? I, I didn't know about that. He's Cameron's manager right now. I don't think no no when he was in music. This was like since I knew about that from like this was like back in like uh SD. like entertainment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, entertainment facts. And he I think he wasn't staying as like he was like not I think he became like a No, that makes sense. That makes sense because remember uh Jay Z was part what was fucking with yeah, York too. Exactly. Oh yeah, you got the whole you know the that's what I'm saying. Like yo, that lineage of knowledge is deep because that's another re that's why I personally I, that that made me rock with Jay Z and not like him rock with him at the same time when I found that out. I'm like, wait yeah. a minute, you got a lot of knowledge, but then I'm like, wait a minute. So you talking? I thought I, I, in my mind, I'm like, oh, I, I'm glad that he did it and he got away from it. But it's like you ain't get away from nothing. He ain't get away from nothing. He he still practices all that shit. Remember on Reasonable Doubt, he said he never prays to God. He prays to God. He that's right. I'm wicked. That's life. I'm living. Yes. I ain't asking for forgiveness for my sins. Like this dude is different. Oh my god. He said life don't start till the church ends on yeah. Empire State of Mind. Yeah, yeah, exactly. When you even have the evils, it reminds me of like when I just learned about And I love that song, yo. Like, bro, what? Me too. That album is I mean, we that album is ridiculously fun. it's like one of them raw albums like well, uh, song to song, the little skits, everything about it. Yeah, it's a perfect album. It's, it is, it is. It's like, um, it reminds me, though, like, the evils, like, from now on, when I, because I seen it, I thought it was something weird, but it was fire, and I moved on, and I can't let that happen, because I just found out that, I, I feel like you even probably told me this. I don't I look at so much stuff in the same algorithm now, but Little Uzi Vert is Lucifer? Yeah, Lucifer. Wait, what you playing? A, I'm not that I was a fan of him or nothing like that, but they playing around with it like that with these regular rappers, like these just little nobody that mumble. I, don't, I mean, let me not say that. Let me not disrespect him because I honestly don't think I ever heard a little Uzi Vert. I just yeah, I just heard of him in the diamond shit in his head. Like that's all I know about him. Yeah, he he's just. Uh, I think he he he's non-binary. He says no. Oh shit! Yeah, that did just come out. I did, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I yeah, he's all it, all these dudes is part of the agenda. But yeah, Lucy Vert, you say it fast enough, is Lucifer. Yeah, like the fact that they play with all these little word games like that all the time, like it's that's like because the numerology thing is its own. Like you can see how like well, I love how you be breaking that down too. By the way, that stuff be deep. Like it, it, how that stuff be lining up, even the dates and stuff like that. The it's dates, crazy. all of that shit. It, it's it's freaky. It's definitely spooky. But one of my favorite things too. Now but that's why I mean, even in scripture, it tells you about that. It tells you about the the, the sorcerers and the mediums how they use numerology. 
Yes. Uh, for that virtual, it mentions it for a reason. Yes, 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 yes. And it's like a bastardization of something that is so, you take in a sick, you take in things that can be viewed from sacred standpoints and then you <laughs> turn it into whatever you turn it into. And now we got things like, uh, we in the six God is, is, a, is a thing, but. Yeah, yeah. Break AI. Yo, that this I don't know where this is going, but that shit is funny. The that Drake AI is crazy. spooky, man. That's it is funny, but it's spooky. Oh yeah, it's a, it's it's a it's it's kind of like I was telling my partner like a few months ago we got an app because we was working on with the cartoons with changing our voices, and we got saw something like this already, but we didn't we didn't you definitely didn't try to use it to this extent. But yeah, we see it where that goes. It's gonna take away a lot of. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I think people need to really think about their entrepreneurship. Facts. I mean, what scares, what 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 makes me think is that whenever new technology is presented to us, that just means they've already had it for like the last fifty years. Oh, you a genius! You're a genius. Fact. So what I'm saying is like, bro, I I don't know what could have been happening because I bet that we, the AI we're seeing now, I bet they got shit that's way better. Right now, way better that that's like indistinguishable. But we don't know how many artists are even still alive making music. But but yes. the but music is dropping though. That's what I was about to say. I like God bless our. I mean, I don't believe. See, I'm not. I mean, we we've been on it for a while. I haven't looked at anything, but I'm pretty sure Jamie Foxx is still hospitalized. I don't think he. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's still hospitalized. So. This is the point that I'll be thinking, like, you could have, and I don't, like, they said he had an issue. With, he was talking about, he said somebody's trying to kill me. Like, he, that's yeah. just a quote that I heard that they said he quoted. So, if that's being said, you can just, new, you. They, who knows how long ago something like this happened. Let's say 12 years ago, like, an RP to Harry Belafonte. That happened to Harry Belafonte. And he's sick in the hospital. And then all of a sudden, we got a, a new Harry, Bel Harry Belafonte who's acting real different. But he looks so perfect. This could have been happened twenty five years ago to us. Yeah, that's a, and you and like Remember, you know the the rumors about Eminem being some type of clone, Gucci Mane being some type of clone. That these dudes look a little different. Their ears look a little different. Their nose is shaped different. Their eyes is spaced out different. Like it, it is kind of spooky when you think about it because these people have been talking about cloning since the fucking nineties. No, nah, that's a fact, and that's that's an absolute fact. And a lot of this stuff that was predicted, like even from the book 1984, yeah, it ain't true times 10. So, all of it, a lot of these thoughts have been generated for absolute. I mean, and I, I'm not, I definitely won't speak on specifics about this, but in the Marine, you know, we get a um, whatever our clearance we get, but there's certain things that we definitely exposed to. And I can say, I've seen what I can say because it's out now, some games they had. We were seeing that stuff that was coming out in like 2020. They were showing some of this technology in like 2001. So yeah. it's real like that. We definitely be ahead of the time like that. But like some Call of Duty simulations. Yeah, you. you... Oh uh, yeah. You, you I think that play. came out. That came out though. That they were they had those type of simulations like back then. Um, oh, that, that did come out recently. Oh, so no, so that, yeah, that's what I'm kind of, exactly what I, well, it, exactly, you can, it's stuff that helps, and it, it does actually help, too, it's really accurate. With I the, think, like, the Tom Clancy games, they were developed by, like, the, um, by, by some branches of the, of the U.S. military. Yeah, it's, it's real like that, it's definitely real like that, and that's why I also say you gotta realize, anybody who's complaining about this, it's not gonna stop for that simple fact that even if it don't meet mainstream, Militarily, it's going to be mastered to make sure nobody else mastered it. But that's the concept. That's how it just exactly. naturally is. They're not just gonna, yeah, yeah. It's not a wild, wild west of technology that just comes out without it being first and given some type of clearance. Yeah, you're just relieving to hear that, that that mental frame, bro. Like that's fire, and and it's like, especially for your age, Graham. I swore you was like a forty-five year old man with this wisdom like you were just walking around with like that's fire. You in your thirties or that, right? Not to get into your, your Yeah, I'm thirty one. Yeah, that's I when I, I think I from your easy thing I heard like that's fire, bro. Like that's amazing. And it's like that's kinda like what I'm saying is like we el a lot of elders. I'm I'm forty. I'm I just turned forty, but it's like Salute. I, yeah, much respect. I talked to a lot of elders, like that's all like a lot of people I look at as OG type shits and or with with a righteous mind, but 
they don't have real hope of like people under 40 basically of even caring about this shit. And I'm like, nah, that's people who know more than they can teach you right now more than you can even you have any idea. And that's the golden thing about the age right now, as long as we all humble and know that we can learn from each other. Exactly. Especially with uh, the internet, like having the internet as an asset, it, it changes everything. Yeah. You know, like there's so much knowledge of and information available. It's just a lot of people just don't know what to look for or what they're even looking for type of thing in order to even to like go down that rabbit hole and understand everything that's going on. Uh, right. but that's, that's why, you know, it's good to, you know, we present the battle rap information to them. We all fans of battle rap. We all don't like what's going on. So we all break that down, but then also dropping those nuggets. You get me? You know I mean? That's right. Uh, that was a personal one for me. So I got, I got a new, definitely thorough understanding of how, I spent, I was like kind of like putting my mind in the pretzel of how I can't talk about something I don't care about, but now this is a perfect way for me to like my my whole spirit rejuvenated with it because it is some deep stuff to get into it. You don't gotta like I think this conversation was perfect. You don't gotta like get too deep in some things. Some things is like it's already known. They don't even need to be said. Facts. That's another genius thing about it. So yeah, that's another thing you educate. Let me ask you something too though. I can't. I, like from the first time I seen your logo, that restore order logo is fire. It reminds me of like a um, the first thing I'm thinking of. Did you get that from Stove? Like it looked like something that Stove God cooks would have made. Like nah, that's a that's a Flea Lord uh Flea Lord's album. You see, it's somebody from that whole that somebody yeah from from that from yeah 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 yeah. I know I know what you're talking about. Yeah, Flea Lord, Flea Lord. <laughs> he has uh, his Lord Talk Two album. Let me write that down. I, I was bumping that. I was bumping that heavy. Uh, uh, when I started the channels, I was like, "Yo, let me make this the logo." Fuck it. That's my god. I was fucks with Flea Lord. Like he yeah, yeah, Flea, Flea Lord. He's on that Thirty Eight Special album. He's on that the outside joint. Outside. Oh my god. Yeah. That that was one. Of, that's my. That Is it called album. outside? Hold on. Let me let me go back to my music right now. That's my shit though. That Thirty Eight Special album is different. Facts, brother. Facts. That was and it's what that shit like seventeen minutes. Yeah, but but it's it's all fire. So it's like <laughs> it's all fire. And he's speaking that shit. He's speaking that boss, real shit, bro. Real man shit. Yeah, yeah. Flea Flea Lord Flea Lord is low key slept on, like in that camp. Mm hmm. Nah, his energy is ridiculous. I've been fucking with him. Every West Side Gun shit, he was on all the Conway shit. Yeah, um, those things, they disappointed me, though, man. When when Conway was wearing that dress and he was in the hot tub with Diddy, like, ah, oh, man. That was the one, bro. That was it for me, too. That, that was killed it for me because Conway was my favorite one. He was my, I thought he was the hardest one. And likewise. Fact. Had- and, and the beat selection for him, he always chose, like, the... The spooky horror type of beats, and I think that's like the I love that shit, like the Ben Grease type of sound, like that is dark and hell is hot type of sound. Yes, 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 perfect combination. That's like a, he he was one of my lyrical ghosts for a minute. Yeah, Conway's Conway's that dude, man. But ah, uh, he was in that dress, and then Benny was in that. That Rock Nation brunch the day before Kobe yeah. died, man. Like yeah. with Marina Abramovich and shit. Like <laughs> that's the one for me too, bro. The Marina. Why? I'm like, what the? Is it, if you don't know, I'm mad that you're that dumb. If you do, if you do know that you, what was what happened? What happened? This is these are supposed to be the realest new generation bringing New York in that whole. I nation. was so fucking disappointed, bro. I was I was on the Benny and Conway wave heavy, bro. With that Griselda shit, I was on it heavy. Then I started saying, like, why you want to be close to Jay so bad, man? Like, <laughs> bro, I know we should have known something since that '97 hole. Bro. Yeah, but I, you know that song was hard, and I was like, ah, man, should have known though. We should have known. Yeah, but Jay Z is like, God damn, they got him as their like God, like a lot of rappers, not just them, definitely, but it's like I, I, the worship of Hove is one of the. It's, it's nasty. It's nasty. Like what? You going just like he could? So he could do anything right now. Is that that's basically what y'all saying? It's like like LeBron. I I've been a fan of LeBron from the moment he stepped in. It was Jordan. Hakeem, uh, uh, Allen Iverson, and then LeBron. That's yeah, AI gotta be there, yep. AI, yeah, you already know. 
Like, listen, if I'm making a legit top 20, AI's not going to be there. But if you ask me my favorites, he's top five. <laughs> Likewise. Personal, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Right. But when he put... He was that, uncompromised for real. For real. Yeah. He was not compromised. <laughs> at <laughs> all. The epitome of that. Word. Bro, when I seen LeBron, though, with the... Like he had the, you got the boule, you you got that on your chest, on his chest, the chosen one. Are you? I, I'm just like I was like I was so I think that was one of the. It, first it was the steroid and PED allegations for me. That that's when it really clicked. I was like, okay, that's why he's protected. How long that came out though? I thought I thought I I, I just heard about it this year. To be honest, I'm dead serious. Yeah, yeah. Somebody. Uh, well, back in 2009, he got a tumor removed from his jaw. Now, if you look up how those tumors are actually developed, like in a, the jaw, it's from steroid abuse. Exactly. Yeah. Right. And then also in, uh, he was part of a report called the Miami Biogenesis uh, Report. This was from a, yep, that was from a clinic where, where they give athletes PEDs. And it, LeBron James' name was there along with D Wade and a few other baseball players. I remember that. And it just, it got, stuck. it just disappeared. Yep. Damn. And what's crazy, remember when this season Donovan Mitchell dropped, uh, 71? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. He said he got drug tested that same night. We never hear about LeBron James getting drug tested. Nah. Every time I hear about LeBron James getting drug tested, they get a schedule. They're told, all right, you're going to get, all right, it's it's February. You're, we're going to drug test you in July 10th. Mm -hmm. Like, they know when they're going to get drug tested, so they know what to do to clear. Remember, LeBron said he spent yes. over a million dollars on his on his body every year. That's what they owe. They've been telling us that for years. Yeah. Facts. So to me, man, it's hard. Like, I, so I, I, it's hard for me to give LeBron props because, like, I, that's always in my mind. That's like I, I can't, I can't say Barry Bonds is the goat. And I love Barry Bonds when he was going through that run. That was fact, but I can't fun. do it. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, yeah. It's the same. You are. It's that's what, bro. I, I really. A lot of people can't live like that and just be on that righteous energy like that. But it's like. Yo, you you gotta you if you don't if, if somebody doesn't take a stand, we just letting everything just be a free fall and there's no real we just taking away all that, whatever spiritual energy, Christ, divinity, whatever we put in anything, we take we throw it in, we just pissing all over that shit. Exactly. You can't just to support everything and there's always gonna be somebody to step up that's gonna do it the right way. And then Yeah, I can't I can't support lying and deceiving people. <laughs> that that's it's not that's supporting Satanism, man. Like, how can you be like think about the shit that's happening right? We in a world right now, we talk about sports. We there's a real debate about if trans people who you were biologically born men, you winning races and swimming competitions and all these volleyball tournaments, and this is something that's not nobody has a no matter how you feel about rights, what does that have to do? How is this not how is this logical? It's, it's not. It's not. And, and it's sad because these be the same people that be talking about protect women and, and all about their so-called uh, pro-women's rights, even though women have rights, but whatever. They're so pro-women's rights, but they're not trying to protect women's spaces. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That is crazy. It is. And it's. It's like kind of like just boils down to basic logic, too, at this point. Like, what more do you really It's just know? Babylon, bro. It's just confusion. Damn. It's just confusion. They said in the last days that 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 we'd be uh the we'd be recognizing lies as the truth. Ooh, yeah, that's the main thesis right now. It's blatant too with that concept. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, it's nasty. It's, it's disgusting what's going on right now, bro. It's but but I, I try not to lose hope. It, it really starts with us just educating our families, you know, taking care of our family and our and our local communities. That's why I be telling people, if you, I don't have kids, but if I had kids, I would be at that school every week. I would be at every parent teacher yes. fucking uh, uh, convention where they're talking about the curriculums and shit. I want to know all of that. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. And that's where it works. Become a leader in your school and the schools that your kids go to type of shit. You know what I mean? That's how you start making change at a local level. And if we all did that, you know, things would really change. But they want to continue to fall for these organizations that think they're going to change the world in one false sweep. Just give them money. No. Exactly. That's just getting pocketed. And we get the schools, 
I, the thing that changed from the first EIK I teach, I taught from now, every school has flat screen TVs when we walk in, in the auditorium, in the gym. This just that's what they do. They taking the money and buying absolute dumb shit. We got yep. from 2005, but we got two, 20, 20, 20, 21 TVs in the school. What, what's sad is that, that that's not even money from BLM. <laughs> BLM, I don't know if you watched Candace Owens' documentary, The, the, the Greatest Lie Ever Sold. Yeah. She did, she, did, she did her thing, yes. She did her thing, and, and okay. she broke down all everything that BLM was in, investing their money in. They invested in an all-transgender district. Yeah, they bond in that shit, yes. They, are, it's, 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 they put that... Not an all-black district. Not Black Wall Street. They invested in an all-transgender district. What? Yo, that's... They invested in transgender media. It, it, it's it's so crazy but transgender sex workers yeah and what what did it, are this money and then the rest of the money was funneled to the democratic party yes damn bro like god but it, it's like when you're dealing with the lobbyists and politics and money and then you add an agenda with something where you can t you took i would love to sometimes See, I'm gonna think we go. We, I, I definitely, you might be the perfect person to talk about this with. You just made me think about a new idea. Like, I like coming up with new. I, I haven't really started branding myself completely with the animation because I taught myself. So it's been. It took me eight years to get to where I am right now. Like from scratch, from not knowing how to do nothing but like basic drawings. Link up with. Uh, I don't know if you know the YouTuber Surreal Mookie. Surreal Mookie. He does the. Um, he does animations too. He actually does like computer graphics. And like he creates like three D models and all that shit. Oh no, yeah. See, I just wrote it down. That I, I, I must. I'm probably already su subscribed to them. That's somebody because I rock with animators and stuff like that when I see it. But now, yeah, I, yeah. I'm gonna personally pay attention to that because I. That's what I, I. That's the type of like minds and people I like that I want to definitely deal with. I feel like there's a lot of opportunities with this concept here. Like even with doing like um little like skits and little facts. Now, one one day for me, like I, I want to like if I ever have the free time to do it, I want to create like a a video game. I want to create, you know, like Def Jam Fight for New York. I want to do it for Battle Rap. Okay, well, <laughs> so we definitely got to talk. I you just hit a crazy. I'm literally working on something that is not. I mean, it's not a video game. That's one of my goals eventually. I would love to tap in. We we we, we to collab on you with something. I mean, we can say it right now because it ain't no big deal. We can just do it if, if if we're gonna do it. It's gonna be like um, like I'm gonna use a different situation to not be too specific. But like, let's say we take a game like Killer Instinct. Like, yeah. And now we calling it Battle Rap Killer Instinct. So we create a different every. We're gonna have different battle raps, just their heads or whatever, right? Yeah. Or we, I mean, just the bodies of the different characters and. We basically like, all right, we gonna make like a fantasy kind of like versus type of shit, where the best will take three like a top rounds from everybody from all these different things. See what I, it's I got it I gotta like look that look at my notes really. I'm just kind of throwing it out there. But the point is to have like an interactive type of um type of like I don't know how how it's gonna be a show or it could be like one long thing we doing it, and you literally like yo we gonna do this card who with two battle raps you wanna see I right, I wanna see. QP versus Sue Surf. Top three Sue Surf rounds, top three QP rounds, and we put them up as animation type of shits. I mean, it's gonna take a lot of like little a lot of work and shit, but it's like that's like kind of the concept. I'm I, I did a different game and shit like that, but it's like kind of where like where you start from, that's where I got it from. Like the idea of yo, like we could take this and do way more with this talent. Like we got exactly people, you there's a lot of residual opportunities that could be made with the. And you don't even have to use your same bars. You can, I, you wrote those battles for things. You can take these little things and use that creative energy. Like you said, your honor know how to do the. You can do background music, do your own little commercials, ditties. You can do a lot of different things with this shit. But exactly. that's your concept. And I, I think I'm on the same type of way with that you want with that. Like we could do some ill shit. And if we don't get like the big battle rappers to do it with us, we could get like good, just start like 
I was just going to bootleg them. I was just going to uh, differentiate their names a little bit. <laughs> and, then, and then with Tay Rock, I was going to make Tay Rock like a vampire character and shit. Like, he got bats flying around him. He uses them in his combat. Like, I was going to have Danny Myers be the main character. It was going to be like Escape from Beasley's Funhouse. And it's going to be like you got to fight all these battle rappers. Of course, at the end, you got to fight Smack and Beasley. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about a whole... I think it would be a dope-ass game. That's a fire game. I think that shit is fire. And all these different battle rappers, like the characters, they got to have, like, you know, c certain characteristics that are going to be part of their moveset. Your brain is crazy, bro. I, now, I... I just, yeah, I, I got something. I definitely, all right, before we wrap up, like, I just, like, if you got, there's like, give me like one or two more minutes, I'm just gonna run something so we can think about it. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, uh, you get, send my contact information so you can just, like, yeah, you hit me or whatever, whatever. But, like, I think there's a, um, like, cause that's my goal. Like, I, I, I wanted to learn how to do, that's what I wanna do. I wanna do, um, video games, 3D movies is my next step. After I do like, after I master the basis animations, I want to learn how to do 3Ds because I already got the, I got the program for it already. So I got to learn, use it. I'm already paying for it. But that's going to be the last step before I get into learning how to just do basic app games. And I want to, that's the goal. I want to do video games. That's the- Yeah, I, I want to specialize like in the 2D. I'm just going to have like a, like a two dimensional, like Metroidvania type of game type of shit. Because I think it's a lot easier to do, and, uh, and you could be more creative with, like, the uh, the art style. Since it's, like, flat drawings versus, like, those 3D models, those are a little, those get really complicated. And it takes a lot of time. I mean, you're right. The comparison it takes a lot of time. Yeah, the 3D models take a lot of time. With the 2D animation, it's a little different. So, wait a minute. What is, that's a real good point, though. Like, the, all of the, the best stuff, sometimes we, I, I think I do it, too. I'll say it for myself. I think so ahead of the time of what we got going on with the technology. Like I just said it, I'm already paying for the technology. So that's the only reason why I'm doing it. But the first video games wasn't no, you didn't have all this 3D shit. They were fire. And they Man, were they were fucking fire, classic. And, and uh, sometimes a lot of people are missing that these days. Yeah. Yeah, you know? I, yeah I do. I kind of do. It's like Marvel much. versus Capcom 2? Like, like yeah. what? Like, throw that on? Like, what? Un Yo, that's what that's what I want the game to look like. I want it to look like a like a Marvel versus Capcom type of art style. Oh shit, a death. No, I think it's gonna be fire, man. It's gonna be fire. It's gonna escape from Beasley's Funhouse. One day, one day, this game is gonna be made, man. Hold up. So let's let's talk about some real shit because it's like we can actually, I if 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 I can actually do the designing for that and this, I can do the all of what you just said. Like, if I just have to do, let's just give you an example, because this is some live real shit right here. If I wanted to make Thousand, oh no, fuck that. Let's make Bison. Beasley is Bison. <laughs> right? I can do that shit right now. So then You could. You could. What's crazy, you could download the character, character models from uh, uh, M. Bison and obviously just uh, tweak them a little bit to where it looks like Beasley and all that. Yeah, yeah. And it will be the same character models. There's shit you can do, for sure. Like, I just haven't really gone into it. Yo, bro, I think... I know like, I've yeah. downloaded the Unreal uh, Engine, like, like to, like, make games or whatever. I just haven't really, like, played with it because I, I don't have much time right now. I'm hoping one day I'm going to have, like, that 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 extra time. Nah, I, I'm with you on that, bro. Like, exactly. I got, like, my whole agenda for the month, for the year is... I'm working on a few projects. I'm gonna ask you too before we wrap up. Like I'm working on a few projects. Um, I would absolutely love to collab with you on a few things. Like even if it's gonna be like, I got an animation I'm doing. It's called Bushwick Abbey. And that's what my the recap show is a spinoff of the actual big animation I'm working on with my partner, right? But it's basically like a boondocks, like to give you an idea of like the the we yep. have a Huey. Like I'm the Huey and, my, and he's the Riley type of guy and we kind of like going through shit where we having it where it's going to be modern day shit we talking about battle rap we talking about all type of shit yo for you to be one of those characters like have your own shit you, you drop down like you even you because i want to have like a the point is to have like a uncle ruckus i got him already but it's like i want to um he's like uncle ruckus but he's like the opposite matter of fact i probably might be saying too much shit right here on this live 
it, it is like, but it's like just to have you um as a boy, if you want to, like, if you're interested, you ever interested in or like, because nah, I'm, I'm with it, I'm definitely with it, bro. Just uh, uh, give me your contact information and uh, well, I'll lock you in for sure. Yeah, nah, absolutely. ain't it crazy that once you get older, you start watching Boondocks again, you start looking at Uncle Ruckus and he's making some point. <laughs> Like, exactly. <laughs> that's crazy, man. You watch it when you're old and you're like, hold up, this nigga was spitting some facts. <laughs> he like, nah, these damn niggas can't come over here. They go, I'm like, oh shit, nah. Yeah, right. He ain't wrong. <laughs> come over here, your pants sagging, you got all this shit, you cursing. I'm like, oh nah, he right. Like, Uncle Ruckus got some. He's wrong. He ain't wrong. Like, <laughs> we got to nip that in the bud, man. It's so damn shit. I love that concept. And I like the idea of balance too. Like, yo, we don't, there's this weird thing. And that's what I'm saying with Sanetta, like specifically, like it was pushed where you got to be this in a box if you're conscious or if you're somebody who's a free thinker, you have to be this way. You but that's, and it. you see, you see how contradicting that sounds though. If you're a free thinker, you need to think this way. Like, like. <laughs> These people are crazy, though. The conscious community was destroyed, I would say, like maybe like five years ago. Yeah. I thought it was when the debates came. When you thought it, when, when you say it happened. Oh, man. It probably was when those debates came, for real. Because a lot of the, when the debates came, these dudes, there was no common ground being met anymore. Now these dudes are just trying to fight to be right. Even when they're being proven wrong or being proven uh, ill informed. They're gonna stand by their gun because they're in a debate, versus are actually ha just having a conversation. Exactly. Don't that sound like people try to invite me to do those debates all the time? I'm like, nah, man, I'm not interested in that. I'm not. Proud of you for that, bro. Likewise, it, it's like, for where are we going with this? You just gonna spin in a circle, and then they talk about the same thing: Christianity versus Islam, Judaism versus. Yeah, Islam. yeah, exactly. And then they use the same points, and it's like, bro, like you say the same thing that's easily debunked every single time. But they also try to lie about scripture, misquote scripture, oh, take yeah. out context from it every single time. That's and man, they learn that shit from Sonetta and Brother Polite. Exactly. It's literally that's one of the first things they did. Is the Christ is the is the is Christianity real? Like, wait, what? Always like, they always do that, and then they bring up they bring up oh well they gave the book to the slaves. First of all, no, they didn't. They they, they gave us a, a different version of the of the Bible where most of the books were omitted. Exactly. So they did not give the slaves the scripture at all. Like, what are you talking about? Because it was potent. They would have made them exactly. That's what I'm like. What do you? You can't deny the potency, and you can't. You can't do that. And when they doing that, and then you, you so you're doing this book, but not other books. What if, so if you saying this, well, it's a lot of things like that. But they took out the book talking about like uh, uh, the, the the curse of Deuteronomy, like like all of that. Like it is what it is, man. These these people is like they, and there's no arguing with them. Yeah, yeah. That's and then I'm they're gonna continue to call Jesus white, even though you're like, well, Scripture doesn't state that. But they're gonna keep on saying you pray to a white Jesus, you worship a white man. <laughs> well, he wasn't white, but uh, it's whatever. They always say the same shit. I have no interest in talking to them. Uh, yo, that's what, and I was, I like, likewise, and I, that's. I know I what God's done for me, and I, and I know uh, those dudes. They're they're, all, they're miserable debating all day. So clearly, God hasn't done nothing for them because their God, their God that they're praying to, hasn't done shit for them. Exactly, and this real harsh reality. And they're also miserable. <laughs> Honestly, this dude be miserable. Always cranky, always arguing, and look at and if you look at all of them, they all they, where everybody who's around them, none of those people stay around. They they come in and out when yep. it's time for money and all that. That's why that was my last lecture. That's why I said that too. I seen I think it was polite versus like Umar or, and I was like y'all debate y'all debated this religion thing or they debated Africa. Or should we go back to something? It was like this the third time. No, yeah, it's years. like watching ESPN and they're saying, "All right, who's the goat? LeBron or Jordan?" I'm like, "Y'all have talked about this literally every single day." <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> and one day I'm like, and I ain't gonna lie, they're, they're good because they add on a new angle every time. So it's like, oh, you pulling me in with this little thing, but it's like, no, it's the same. But it's still the same conversation. Exactly, bro. Like that's crazy. You know, you on it, bro. I, you you a gem in battle rap. I don't know how this happened, but like I know you broke down, and that's why I love that easy interview. No, oh that any that interview was. I'm still recapping. I only did I did like a recap for the first half an hour. I, yeah, I mentioned that earlier. I'm I'm. 
gonna definitely be doing some uploads this week. But it's like one of the now nah, I'm, I'm gonna say that for the thing. But it's like one of the um one of the other things that we talk about it now is like they would deny the truth by any like if you were at a point where you are saying I'm free, I'm a boss, I'm keeping it real, I speak struggle raps, my believability is high, but then. You're saying no matter what happens, no matter what proof I get, no matter who say what, even if the person who I'm telling to prove my fact is agreeing with the person I'm agreeing, I'm debating with, if you still can't humble yourself, anybody who's fought, see, that's why I think he's perfect because it's like some biblical stuff. It shows everybody, if you're gonna, you can still respect his talent, like he's talented. Not nah, for sure, nobody's ever, yeah, yeah not right. for sure. Easy is definitely talented. I, I am literally he, gonna- I, I, I fucked with him before that interview. It, likewise, like I de- like I was a very he was one of I was looking at him as a straight up fan before that and I and I personally was like I'm gonna have an issue I want to definitely get close I ain't gonna lie because I want to find out about that dude thing but that wasn't like I really respected it when he was doing all that like I wasn't gonna like I would have respected him. him so much more he just admitted to do shit bro that was the stupidest shit about it's it it's so dumb to deny it bro when people that were there reported on it bro crazy and. Oh, wait. And what about when, I think it was like a week or two after that, DNA 2 put that blog out when they coming out the car? When she yeah, out the yeah, putting his hands on her when in the car, yep. I'm like, and you still not going to say nothing? And you still just can't just, like, read it? So I'm like, yeah, it, and that's kind of, I just looked at it, I chalked it up as he probably was getting a little bit too big for his bridges, or uh, this wasn't a big scam from the beginning. He got too big. And then- or he's so he's so concerned with what his team is telling him. I'm sure he got PR people that are, t- are lying to him, telling him, oh, no, this is a PR nightmare if you ever admit this or something like that. You know what I mean? But it, 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 they're telling him the wrong information because at the end of the day, a lot of brothers would relate to that if he says that, bro. A lot of men have fallen into that trap of putting their hands on a woman. A lot of men have have done it, and and and, and it's right. the the only thing you could do about that after the fact is to acknowledge you were wrong and to never do it again. That's it. It's, it's like every other mistake. Just apologize. like any other mistake. Don't do it again. That's it. It doesn't. And then, and that's the real lesson for everybody. And it's like. I think that's what I means. even told the dude, bro. I fell into that trap before, like in the interview. I had no problem saying that I fell into that trap before, bro. Exactly. Like, you know what I mean? Especially when you're young, it's your first relationship, like a first serious relationship. Right. You living with shorty things is real deep. You could fall into that trap. Absolutely. You know, I mean, literally, like when you we, most of the people in our pop and anybody, most people around us either dead. It's Especially a- in us from our, from these urban communities where violence is so natural. Yeah. Like, we grow up seeing so much violence. E- probably even That's couples that. in our own family, we're seeing them put hands on each other. We're looking at that like it's normal. i tell you one thing, brother. I'm the only... I, I, what happened to me when I was six years old, first time I was born in the Bronx, moved to Brooklyn, the First day we get to the house we lived about my family house in Bushwood. Um, the doctor rings and I'm living, we live in like some little shit like the peas. It wasn't exactly the peas, some shit on Sherman Ave. Okay, but yeah. They we never have a bell. We had one of them business, like, and you just talk through the intercom shit. Yeah, the intercom, yep. Right. So this is the first time we had a ding ding. We lived that we were we in a house in Brooklyn. I got so hyped, I ran to the door, opened the door, it's two cops, and they showed me a Polaroid picture of this beaten up bloody lady. They's like, yeah, this lady got raped and killed, and we want to know if you've seen her, if y'all know anything. And I'm like, I'm a six year old kid. That's crazy. So from that moment on, I'm just, I'd say the story to say this. I was like against, and I seen, I didn't know, I seen arguments and fights with family members and shit like that, my moms and all that. But that's when I realized, oh shit, like that could lead to death. And I kind of been like this big campaign, and then I realized, bro, every this is not, it's just the truth, like. All of my, almost everybody I basically was around basically basically let me know the same thing. Like, listen, this stuff that happens, we do it, and we just, the point is to the, learn from it, don't do it again. The ones who keep doing it happens, but I didn't know. Basically, I don't want to say it out, but it's the truth. Like, 90% or more of the people who I was around and close to directly, family, loved ones, friends, all had the same thing, whether he was male or female. 
So yep. absolutely, you just gotta just. My sister used to beat the shit out of her man, bro. Like what? And I've seen that side too. Facts. I've so, seen it from facts. both ends. Exactly. Facts. Facts. And it's like you gotta. That's what I'm saying. And it's like it happens. You move on, but it's like cheating. Like you could look. Some people look at cheating as some death shit. Like you could have got a disease and killed me, whatever. Oh yeah, like, fact. Now I think I think once you put your hands on on your on your shorty, like the the relationship is kind of done at that point because you've already crossed that boundary of respect subconsciously if she comes back to you you're not going to respect her because she allowed you to put your hands on her and exactly see that's the realest shit ever right there and that's by not that's what we got to learn too if you don't let make a sacrifice happen with something going on you teaching the person that it's okay. So even if they exactly feel like right now you just gonna get back the second that they snap they're gonna know hey I'm going to get forgiven again anyway. That's why people keep doing this shit. So it's, it's crazy, bro, because me, me and Easy could have had this conversation, bro, and it would have been dope. Beautiful. It would have been dope. Facts. And this helps. It helps another person. It helps so many people, bro. 15-year-old kid right now in a relationship. All he heard is drill music. And he talking about banging, slapping, doing all this type of shit. He hear a death and, and Easy to Block Captain speaking some real shit like that. It changes the way. I know what it changed my perspective at, immediately. I don't have you don't we don't have a lot of voices who's even when we got family members and fathers and, and people around, they're not always giving you advice or the greatest advice. So yeah. These words, when you somebody who got experience, it's good to speak about it. And like I said, it's you 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 carrying it, you holding it down, bro. Like and it's like I'm I'm learning from you. I, I'm not I'm very proud of you to learn from people. I'm somebody who learned so much on my own underground. Like it's good to see like mind and like spirits out there. So yeah, like I, I can't. You like I said, an infinite. We started off with the salute. Definitely got it off. But I'm, I'm like, I don't want to. I don't want you to think too that I'm like. I don't want to hold you up because you just give me this. This is. I'll keep going. I'll be like, yo, we, this is something I've just been looking forward to for a while anyway. But now that we definitely established this, yo, we. I'm definitely gonna give you my contact information. I want to send you some stuff, and I want to um definitely keep peeking your brain. And if we could do this again some other time when you're free. Not nah, definitely, bro. I'm tuned in. I'm tuned in. All right, so say that. And likewise, I'm definitely going to be jumping on your shit, too, some, a lot of times. So whenever you... whenever you, you, you it's Oh, yeah, you're more than welcome to. But uh, no, no, you ever want to, uh, you know, chop it up again, just hit me up. We can schedule time. All right. I'm sure last. we're just scratching the surface right here. We got to get into hip-hop. We got to get into government. We got to get into a whole lot of topics. <laughs> Yo, 100%, bro. 100%. Yeah. Matter of fact, and then before we do, too, like, any, do you got any um, shout-outs or any last words? I just want to say, when we, when we, I want to privately say one thing for you for like one minute um but oh no for sure last you know just uh uh june 7th <laughs> never forget too no, uh, no, I'm, no. I'm just really excited about uh putting those on the, these dudes man these dudes are talented man I, I'm, I'm i'm everybody on this card i think is gonna show up all right let me ah, thank you so much for saying something this jb moolah's on this one right oh no 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 oh no was that no not jb wait it was a gullah what Oh, Gullah JB. Yeah, Gullah JB. My fault. See, I'm mixing people up. There's a reason why that kind of happened, too, I guess. I, I, I'm i a little confused, right? It, he's not the same person who be with No Mercy, right? Oh, no, no, no. That's XL. Uh, that's XL. <laughs> no, no. not. Nah, XL, the rattle rapper. No, I'm talking about the one who be like, he on DME's thing, like the DME Detroit guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, guy. yeah. No, no, that's not him. No, no, that's not him. Is it just me or they looking like, or am I just bugging? They they might actually they might oh, look man. like low key. <laughs> Gullah J be like a darker skinned version of him, bro. I that's what I was like. Wait, is he? Did he try to do something? And he infiltrated and we that we not and we just like, <laughs> nah 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 hell no hell no and, nah. I, no disrespect to no mercy Lord. I'm like I don't have those. I just think it's funny what's happening with things and all that. I think it's <laughs> clearly I'm over here. Like I rock with this. I only like it's just everything about that though was like. That shit was so gangster. I don't even want to get into too much, but like you, the shit you did. Yeah, that that dude needs to stop, man. He got to stop getting into blog awards because he does not win. <laughs> he, just he, win. he can just just that's what I'm saying. Like you, you, know, you remember when he when he first reported on what happened that day? He he even admitted that I tried to shake his hand after the fact. Yes. And he, he he was scared. He said, Oh, he I was scared he might pop on me again. No, nigga, I come from the hood. After we fight already, like we we already like scrap. Like, all right, it's time to chop it up, shake my hand. We could probably even go smoke a blunt. 
You know what I mean? Like, right. Yeah. But obviously, this dude is scary, man. Like, that's just what it is. Like, it is what it is. Like, yeah, bro. And that's what I'm, it's like, I, I, I had no idea. I seen no mercy. I just had him kind of connected this with Team Hobby type of shit. Like, I always seen him around here and there, but it's like, damn, bro. Like, you don't gotta, you, you digging a hole. You don't even, if you don't stand on the side, it's like, you kind of just like in limbo. And now you got, you dealing with like the illest people who blogging right now, whatever. People. Yeah, yeah, right. He got he got Harlem legend Qua on his ass. He got me and DME battle track. <laughs> I'm like, yo, all of the people who I rock, y'all are like the ones who got my top notifications. And like you, he be for all of like, yeah, it's 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 over. Like I can't. I I salute them because he. I like Excel. Like I think Excel is. Excel, I used to think he was real talented, but that dude, that dude's been a real clown lately. I don't even watch him. <laughs> so, Damn, he clowned it too? Oh, yeah. I remember that dude said, when when I first did my blog about uh, avocado back in 2020, this dude was threatening my life, like, for avocado. He said he's ready to die or go to jail for avocado. I'm like, really? Like, so, what? Just, just... It's great. He was saying that, and I remember I did a blog response. I'm like, so if you decided to do your own event with avocado, shoot it for you on the low. Would he do it for you for free? But you're willing to go to jail or die for this man? Would he? Would he shoot an event for you for free? It sounds like I heard you say that. Like that's crazy. Now I'm thinking I must have heard it thought you were talking about somebody else. Cause that's that's that definitely sounds familiar. But you're right though. Like what the? So you know what? We gonna have one of the things. I'm. I'm. I think the next one I want to set up to. Do, I kind of want to go through a list, and I mean, you're not saying that you don't have to, whatever. I'm just vouching, and I'm gonna do my own research when I have to. But I kind of want to go through a list of just my favorite, like the people who I think is like, because I need to make sure they're not, because <laughs> I'm scared. I'm, I'm literally at the point I ain't scared because I'm gonna ask you, but I'm like, I don't even know if I want to say this name now because if you tell me, keep it a buck though, Chilla Jones. Give me the keep it a buck about Chilla Jones. Oh, man. I, think Chilla Jones I don't want to break your heart, man. <laughs> <laughs> Jilla, Jones, Jilla Jones works for like he's part of like the the television circuit, and he's also doing that scam with Mickey Fax right now with the hip hop school. I was about to act because I was going to say something about that. I yeah, that's Angela Mink. Yeah, yeah, that shit is a scam, man. That, that... Very scamming. I, I I went. I literally was going to apply for it. I'm telling you, I'm just the first. I'm saying this in public too. I went for it. And something something very funny happened, and I'm like. Something made me question it, and I just left it alone from there. I blame Mickey Fax on it, but now you saying this, I'm like, it pro it's, it's, it's clearly a collective. Yeah, it's it's definitely. I, I, it's not. Say less I, then, because yeah, that's for yeah. me now. Because I, I did the, just like when I first seen that JC versus Chilla Jones battle, I went back and I watched. All I, I, Chilla Jones was one of my favorite battle rappers of all time. Yeah. He like, really was, but 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 he's been at, he's been moving real funny uh, for the past two years, low-key. Damn, bro. He the first battle rapper. He's the first battle yeah, rapper. and Chilla Jones one of my favorite battles ever. Yeah, like, yeah, it's, yeah you can't, I, I can't un, like, you see that. Nah, exactly. nah, of course not. I can never take away what Chilla Jones has done. He's gonna get into the JC stabbing Julius. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, man. Julian, I, I nailed you, Jay. Oh, my. Yo. Oh, man. man. My, my, was... favorite, my favorite battle that JC had was against Twerk. Like, I know there's a lot of bad stigma on Twerk, but when Twerk was on it, that him versus JP is one of my fit. That's like one of those battles where I could show the people who, who never watched battle rap before, and Giants. they would love that shit. Giants, right. Damn, I was going to think of the J. I, and you see, you went there. I was about he the told next. JC, he said, How do you want it, JC? Jesus Christ or the Julius Caesar? Like, he was just, he was just bugging out, man. It was just. It was just different. I don't know, man. And then he was bullying JC the whole battle. It was just, it looked different. Yeah. That, that but that's what I'm saying. His potential is the, it's skyrocketed. Trump's yeah. Actual pure potential is bought, bought, bought pound for pound. It ain't even close out of camera. Yeah, it's a, it's a shame. It's a shame that he don't got the work ethic at all. Yes, that's all it is. All it is, clearly. But the first battle rap I, I, I had on my like playlist on my regular music, like when I listened to my hip hop playlist, was Daylight versus J um Chilla Jones and J Chilla Jones versus JC. Like yeah, that's how oh my God. yeah, Daylight versus yeah, Daylight's another one, man. <laughs> I can imagine that one. Yeah, I, I, Daylight's another one. It's a shame that this man is the way he is because as a battler, 
Yeah. Um, nah, that's real talk. But now, nah, I right, well, I'm, I'm gonna be preparing some shit for June. So I'm, I'm, I'm definitely gonna be there live and all that. But I'm gonna be on that promo run heavy. So we're gonna chop it up about that. But now, nah, yo, keep it. We gonna keep it up from there. That my last word. Shout out to Rich um, for, for pulling up. Like, um, hopefully, Rich, one day you gonna you because I know it's whatever time it is in India, you are gonna pull up with us. But um, shout out to all the listeners, everybody. Adept, shot, yo, go. To restoreorder.net and watch all that stuff there. And then definitely subscribe to the big bro Adept H N I C. Y'all see the Cash app. Don't even worry about my Cash app. You want to send something, send Adept H N I C something, please. Like on me. Whatever. But yo, are y'all gonna see us in the future? I got some ideas. I'm about to run something by him right now. So y'all already know when I talk like that, I'm real with it. But yo, salute. All right, peace. Let me end this real quick.